thing. Just be like, hi. What do we? What do we want to do for an opening thing? I don't know. <laughs> we could just do this for an opening thing because I just went live. Okay. I guess this is our opening bit. Our opening thing is that we'll talk about having an opening thing, so and then we won't. We won't actually do an opening thing. What I think, or we could think of a really cool opening thing that we could never actually do in person, and then just pretend we didn't do it. Yeah, like that time that we should get jet skis and then like fly around the world. That's that's an option. I don't know if you fly around the world on jet skis, but that's an option. No, 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 no. no. I'm we not saying no to you. I'm just saying that you're an idiot. I'm just saying I wasn't saying that we fly around the world on jet skis. I'm just saying we fly around the world and we do jet skis. Okay. I'm but not an idiot. With us? I'm not an idiot, Michael. I know well, that we can not Well. 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 Um every, oh, let's let's start. Oh, hey. Okay, that was we, I did that. You did a thing. I did a thing, world. everybody. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Bots and Shots, starring Mike and Zach. On occasion. Uh, on occasion, we have a lot of cool people in the chat, mostly because Zach is not in the chat. Yeah, I was you really. See, you see what I did there? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. You zinged me. Zinged him. We got David Smith. Of the Smiths, or the fa the famous Smiths. Yeah, the famous Smiths. We have, we got Prophet nine two four. I was gonna the only Prophet band I know is Lost Prophets, but I would never say anyone's from that band because that 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 guy was a bad person. Yeah, you, we got you, Seth, you don't want to evoke that kind of image. I, I don't. I don't. We got Seth Pierce in the house. We got the Papa Gord. The Papa Gord. The PPG, if you will. That's what I call the P him. The PPGs. Wink, wink. wink. Uh, my wife is in chat making fun of our meta opening. How do you feel that now you can culturally say, my wife? My again, wife. Oh, I think now that Borat's more, more um, it's popular, it's, it's not going to be as fun. Because I used to say it when Borat was dead for like five years. Yeah, you being like that Because it was more of a deep cut. Now it's just yeah. being part of the zeitgeist. Wait. I guess way to wait it out. You know what I, I mean? know, right? And now I can't say I feel like I can't say it anymore. Uh, Ionicus is in the chat. Lindsay England is in the chat. Um, let's see. We got uh, Fugman4 is saying hi to David Smith. And not, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. I wouldn't hi, say hi to him either. Uh, Maniac Collector is Bazinga in um, chat. Amateur Toy Hunters in here. I'm just going through all the people in here. Yeah. We're just going to spend the, the rest of the chat just talking about who's in chat. Like, that's yeah. the rest of the night. That's our, that's our whole show. Well, I like Davidson. Morrissey is a dick. Yeah, more. Uh, nobody likes Morrissey. Morrissey isn't. I would actually use a different word, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. Morrissey is really big in Southern California. It's uh -huh. sad, but very true. I, yeah. I can't tell you how many times I heard the Smiths at karaoke. Yeah, it was I, mostly just Zach, not you, Zach, the the bad Zach. Yeah, I never sing. I never sang the Smiths. And if a double deck of buzz crashes into us. Tonight by all time. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's just a fun cultural fact. He is really yeah. beloved amongst the Latino community in it's California. True. It's yeah. really weird, but true. It's like I heard him playing at a Mexican restaurant when I was buying a California burrito. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, let's let's see who else. Um, like that's 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 all the people I've seen. So, um, hi, we've got a thing going on. Mostly, it's a live stream. Yeah, it was very hastily thrown together, last minute. Yeah. Oh, very last. And in fact, we just figured out how we're gonna do this like ten seconds before I hit the live button. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and it was because we, we did have an episode scheduled a couple weeks ago, but then there was a Corona scare. That's true. We're all, yeah, we're so, uh, we, we couldn't record live and you know, that's, that's okay. We have, this is a fallback now instead of doing nothing, which mm -hmm. is the other option. Which is what we usually tend to do. That's true. It's it's either do this live or not at all in some cases. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to take a moment and thank all the people not on the West Coast of America for being here. Because in some cases, it's midnight there. And you're staying up way past your bedtimes. And your parents are going to be so, so mad. if oh, we're not going to. We we're, we're not going to tell on you that you're eating cookie and no. cookies and ice cream and cakes. Ab absolutely not. So that's I just wanted to thank all the people who are all staying up soups late uh, all for all our live streams. We do have a show planned, ish. Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, but you're here. We're here. Yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna do like a normal episode. It was kind of I guess more like a, it's a, it's a unique. It's a unique. Yeah, say that. Seth Pierce is under his sheets, ready to go. Here we are. Right, I like where we're going with this. <laughs> Wait, what, are the, what, are, what under the sheets? Are we telling ghost stories? Or are we telling ghost stories? Oh uh, well, before we get started, I feel like we have to do a shot. Obligatory. Yeah, I mean, it is a spooky episode, right? Yeah, I guess it, it's a spookoween. It's a spook spooky yeah. moon. Now, um, you'll notice a lack of costumes and a lack of decorations. And the story behind that is it's 2020 and fuck everything. Yeah. Well, we, you already, we already explained it. This is the last yeah, end, end of story. I did go around looking like as I went to the store before work today. Yeah. And I did I did try to find something costume appropriate for this, but the cheapest I could find it was forty bucks at Target because they don't do sales like uh -huh. yeah. So I didn't buy it. So yeah, no yeah, for sure. Uh, I uh, I was going to to find some hasty decorations, but there are literally no decorations mm -hmm. like anywhere. And I think part of that is because they don't want to encourage people to have parties. Yeah, that's my that's my thought. But like, I couldn't find decorations literally mm -hmm. anywhere. Yeah, I can't wait for the impending lockdown at work because a bunch of people have been talking about parties they're going to this weekend. Yeah, all the parties people are going to, and they're going to, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's going to be fun to go back on furlough again. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, fun times. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. My work will pay for it. Yeah. So, Mine might. Uh, Linda's, in, Linda's in chat, so that's cool. Uh, Ionica's on four hours of sleep and 48 hours, so he's not going to stay long, and that's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, what 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 was he what was he doing? What, that, I, 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 yeah, I, why, I, I, why were you up so late? Yeah, is it like a so meth lab or is it a work thing? Do you work at a meth lab? Or do you meth at a work lab? Ooh, just saying. I'm just hard, saying. A hard question. I'm he, just super saying. He hits him. Um, do you want to you want a shot? Oh yeah, I can do you that. You want to do a shot? This is a shot. That's a shot. This is a shot. Clink. Clink. Yay. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> 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 the only thing I got to chafe it is my whiskey and Coke. Oh, me too. Um, I'm drinking my whiskey and Coke out of a really cool Naruto cup. Is it Naruto or Naruto? Um, it or depends Naruto. on how white, white you are, I guess. Yeah, pretty white. If it's uh, yeah, I'm I'm white, so I'm I'm saying Naruto, but I think Naruto is absolutely fine too. He's white. He well, like most most anime characters are. Yeah. Yeah. He's um. So Fugman, I would I would say uh, stumbling across bots and shots is. The, the best way to find bots and shots. Wait, since when? Yeah. That was an option? That was an option. You could always yeah. just stumble across it, like walking down the woods, and then you trip over something, and you, you look up, you realize your leg's caught in a bear trap, and bots and shots is playing on a TV, and you can't move. 
I do find myself walking through a lot of woods. I know. So I, I used an example from real life. Yeah. Uh, Seth P. Oh, two questions we got going on right now. I'm like, my cat decided to make a debut in the background. Oh, kitty. Is that is that Tux or the other yeah, one? That's Tux, yeah. I, I pointed at him, but he ran away. But That's the only one I know. Yeah. Willie's closing my door. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have a kitty, apparently. Hold on. You are very boisterous. Yeah, my, my kitty's right here. So we're, we're actually, you know what? Let's just change the format. We're just talking about a cat for the next two hours. Cats and chats. One piece. And those donut holes. Anyways. Anyways. So what are you drinking? I'm drinking my, my staple. I'm drinking Crown Royal. It's vanilla today. Ooh, I'm drinking my staple, uh, some Jameson. Yeah, so we're doing our normal stuff. Yeah. We're just I'm not doing it. I've been on the biggest gin kick recently. Me? I just, well, okay, I want to say me too, but that's not true. Yeah, you you ready to jump in to something? I'm exotic. ready to jump in, but like yeah. I will say, I've we Lily and I've been drinking gin more recently because we got really into gin on our honeymoon. Mm. Um, but like I haven't really had any gin. In a while, mm. so I currently have some. Uh, Ryan's using our Christian names here, right? Yeah, you 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 can only run so far from your past. You know? That's true. Thank you, thank you. I remember um, I I got called a gay lord when I was like six, and I had no idea what it meant. What? Yeah, like why? What is, is this? Is this an insult? Like, but but, but later that day, I called my mom that when I was being. <laughs> obstinate and she slapped me in the mouth and I was just like I don't even know what I said. <laughs> so that's when I made sure to learn my insults from then on. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's talk about more stories about how your parents abused you. Yeah. I like this. I like where this is I like where this uh bots and shots is going. I did get caught stealing when I was like eight or nine in a target. The target over an ocean side actually. Oh and fine. I, what were you stealing? Well, first of all, what were you stealing? I was stealing, so like they had these like Mighty Maxes, but they were X Men's, and there was like these little figures inside, and I didn't want the place that I just wanted the figures. So I asked my mom to buy it. She said no. So I stole the figures, and my mom figured it out right when we were in front of the check stand. Figured it out because I had my hand. In, she's like, "Why is your hand in your pocket?" Like because I was like walking really awkwardly. Because you're a kid, you don't know how to steal when you're a kid. Yeah, because you're you're just yeah yeah absolutely. So so I she open handed slapped me in the mouth in front of the check room and everyone looked at her like she was a monster but i never yeah. stole, i never stole again or at least not that obvious because your mom loved you enough to slap you open-handedly in the mouth i learned shame i learned i learned about shame that day well i mean better late than never i guess yeah so apparently ionicus works midnights and he doesn't work fridays or saturdays so he's just been up for a while fair enough um, I've, I've been working the night shift at work the last few months, so I definitely understand the being at work late thing. Uh, I work said, early. No, I it was a ramen topping. I do that. It's a ramen topping. Apparently, I, I, it's like a swirly ramen topping. I know that from I. I I'm not gonna lie. I've watched every episode of Naruto. I'm I'm a fucking nerd. But you um, didn't know ramen topping. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Lindsay's saying she uh, lives by Daytona Beach in Florida, and there's a lot of dumb parties going on. Bike Toberfest, fun. Wait, what kind of bikes? Is it a bunch of people getting drunk on ten speeds, or is this like actually? No, I'm thinking it's like motorcycles. It'd be so cool if it was like a no, ten. Speed drunk on a ten speed does sound like a better option, though. Yeah, at the ten speed fest, we turn it up to eleven. Yeah, for sure. I just gave them a whole fucking jingle and everything. I know, right? At the 10 speed fast, we turn it to 11. Is that how it goes? I guess. I mean, it's a, it's, I imagine they'd be like more like, we turn it to 11. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be one of those, it's going to be one of those like doo wop 50s jingles with the, oh, like a three, at least a three part harmony. I want, I want like a, I want a video of someone tearing the knob off, you know, like, like, to, a, like a, like a, like a KS 101, like a radio. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. Yeah. Like that. That's what I, that's what I envision. So you're thinking like a more of a like a rock world five kind of thing where I'm thinking yeah. like an oldies KS one oh one like you, you and I cannot put on the same bike fest together. Or we could put them out both and see oh. who likes it more. Rival rival ten speed right. rival bike fest. I'm down. 
They say the same thing, just with different jingles. It was the last <laughs> we didn't know we needed. I think I'll get a lot of the older bike crowd that like the, the oldies in, in it. I don't know. It'd be cool if we swapped. Like, like you, you, you get young and old, and I get the middle crowd that just like thinks they're tough. You know, like the the end of boomers and, and uh, Gen Xers. I get that crowd. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's well. That's I mean, you'll you'll get the better crowd. Uh, apparently, David Smith says ten speeds aren't a thing anymore. I don't even know what to do with that information. I don't even know. I don't ride bikes regularly. I don't. I, I can't even remember the last time I've ridden a bike. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe. Six or seven years ago, I, I rode a bike when I went to Florida. Okay, just to show off that I can ride a bike and like nobody else could. Wait, who are you competing against? A bunch um, of Lily girls? and my five year old, no, I guess seven year old nephew. Wait, Lily can't ride a bike? No, really? Yeah, that's sad. Tirsa can't do it. I, I tried to teach her too, and like she just it, it was it was yeah. cute. But Tirsa, also, Tirsa, won't, Tirsa won't let me teach her how to ride a bike. Oh man! So in Florida, I was trying. I was really trying to teach her how to ride a bike, but like it's like a thousand degrees and then three hundred percent humidity. Nice. So running alongside her to keep her up to speed and like stable, mm -hmm. I was dying because I'm fat and out of shape, and then also I'm inside a sauna. Essentially. Nice. So I almost, I literally almost, I almost passed out. Like nice. So that was fun. That was a fun thing. Um, do we want to do we want to get into this? I guess we should. What we're doing. Yeah. So we both got this. This is what we're doing. This is Transformers related. Um, before I fuck me and asked a question that wasn't Transformers related, and I just want to. Yeah, this is bots and shots, and we're primarily Transformers related, but we also end up talking about like fucking Highlander a thousand times. So fuck it. How about the Mandalorian? Any thoughts? My thoughts are the first episode of season two was amazing. Zach is a dick and hasn't seen it. That, that's all. That's it. That's all. That's yeah. It. Um, Jonas says, what's up, guys? Hi. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, we got uh, we got the pits of, of judgment. I almost I keep wanting to say pits of despair, but it's, it's not. It's, I guess it's just, I guess it's just how you view judgment. Like that's true. Well, like I that's one of the things I never really picked up on as a kid was the whole guilty innocent. It didn't it didn't matter. They still threw him down, right? No, no matter what he said. Like, yeah, basically. That was the thing. He's yeah. like, Oh, you're guilty. And then it was like, Oh, innocent, and then still fuck you. Yeah. Thing. You think you think if there's a pit of judgment, there's a hole of constructive criticism? <laughs> I feel like the managerial status on the Quintesson home world is really a, a cubby of like malcontent or something like yeah, or 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 the uh, the the cave of of positive support yeah, the cave of encouragement is the located cave of encouragement. It's located so adjacent to the, the cave of encouragement before you fall into the pit of judgment. So we got the computer on sale on Pulse. I'm going to turn this light back on. It's, it's really hard to do um, because it's either glary or not lit up. So, yeah, this is this was 70 bucks. It was a PulseCon exclusive, and it came with, the way I saw it, three, three figures that I wanted anyway, which ended up being about 60-ish bucks retail, and then some fun little little guys in here. Yeah. And also a really rad cardboard layout. I know. I really kind of want to keep the layout at the very least. Yeah. Me too. It's been hard not to open this fucking thing. I don't know. I've, been, I've just been too lazy. That's the only yeah. reason I haven't opened mine yet. So but that's what we're going to do. We're gonna. I'm going to open mine anyway. If you don't open yours, it's going to make this a lot harder. But you do what you want. I just want to point out on the back, we have a really cool kind of rad... Cut out, oh, yeah. diorama. not cut out diorama, but it's like a scene, scene from the movie. This is from the Transformers, the movie, the the, the only good, well, the for a while the only good Transformers movie. Do you think we're breaking the hearts of mint and sealed box collectors? A hundred percent, and nothing gets me harder. Than well, be honest, considering our show is us playing with these toys like that, yeah. like. You figure they had to know. 
Wait, why am I opening at the top? You can't get it. Out I opened mine right from the top too, and I realize right now that you can't actually pull it out from the top. This was a really bad idea. Yeah, it's only gonna get worse from here. Hey, fancy instruction bootleg. Okay, I see. I cut. You cut it from here, and it opens, and it opens up. All right. This is not as hard to open as the uh, the Lord Dracon Power Rangers figure was. All right. So it also comes with instructions, but we will not be using those. I mean, in all fairness, we know how to transform a couple of these things anyway. Yeah, but, fuck it. But, but neither of us has a Quintesson yet. That's right, and, and now we do. So there's differences here. I actually didn't. I bought this without even realizing there were differences. And we'll get into all the differences. Yeah. But, but this and this are currently basically available at retail, but they're not because they're different. Yeah. That's that's the end of my story. Good story. Thank you. You're really you good. Want, at uh, should I go first with mine and then you go first with with yours? Yeah, you're doing the sharky thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do, well, the first thing I'm going to do is my voice is going to break like I'm like 12. I'll have to ask my manager. I like I like the paint deco on this little sharky. Oh, I like how they put his little they put his little mace in his foot so they could fit him in the package better. Oh, yeah, cuz that's not where that goes. No. It go. It's a tail. Right? Yeah. It should fit. Flip, you have to flip it around from the, the one. I'm trying. I'm drunk. How are you drunk already? I don't know. My, I don't know any better. You don't know any better. I you never know. Me. I don't know any better. I can I can do this. There it goes. I got it. Okay. Did you, were you putting it upside in upside down repeatedly? No, I was doing it right. I just couldn't get it in the little hole. Okay. So this is the little sharky here. This is what Nah, right? This is probably Nah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Nah. Cause like Nah is the only one with with a name. Is that that's like the whole thing, right? Yeah. I'm still pissed at that T-shirt too. I know the the Nas. It should have been Nas. So this is. No, we've actually done. I'm pretty sure we've done this on the show before, but not on one of our, our mini con, one of our mini con meltdown episodes. Yeah, uh, this is the Titans Return, essentially Sharkticon. Uh, Sharkticons first appeared in the Transformers the movie. In this scene, basically, they're. I think they're adorable. Yeah. Like, how do you not? How do you not think this is adorable? This is one of the my favorite. Like beast alt modes, yeah. I would say. One of my biggest regrets in life was I owned the original Nah. Yeah. That I, that I had gotten at a, at a swap meet, and then I traded it for something else, and I never got it back. That sucks. I'll always miss those times. That's rough, buddy. Now, one of the weird things about this is Titans Return. These this scale, the Legend scale, had a weird gimmick where they wanted you to put, they wanted to be able to like put the Titan in their mouth like they're writing it. Mm -hmm. so he's got these little holes in the bottom of his mouth that you can put a little like headmaster or titan master or whatever like thing in there but it's it's stupid gimmick that you can completely ignore and nobody gives a shit and i intend to ignore this yeah and that's i think that's one of the things about this is if little gimmicks like that if you don't like them if you think they're stupid you just ignore it let's turn off let's turn the channel you know just what i mean Change the channel, yeah. Um, no, I would say that compared to the original version of this, though, the, the colors are more accurate to the movie. Probably. If I, if I, if I remember this right. And I also have to remember how to oh, transfer. Wait, 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 wait. How can you tell anyone what I colors are accurate? I, I, I'm living a lie. Yeah. No one I, believes I this is accurate. Uh, no, literally, I Googled, what are the differences between this and the original? And that was one. Okay. Because I can't see anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't don't come in here with your knowledge. With my <laughs> my knowledge, your knowledge. What do you tie? What's his face? They used to do all those you, YouTube videos. I like how you're nailing this right now. Like you I are know. Really so, I'm so good at this. 
I'm really good at insulting people while transforming a ten dollar Transformers toy. I'm proud of you. And this, yeah, this guy uh, was a ten dollar Transformers toy. He was indeed. He was the. You know what? I just accidentally put his um his like shark face on the front, and I kind of like it. It but looks kind of nice. But that's not how it goes. It goes behind. Yeah. There Look you at go. Trying to be accurate for the cameras. I know. What is it like to sell out? Fucking like this. It's for, for, for like no money either. Literally looking at me selling out right now, Zach. Yeah, I know. I'm proud of you for watching that. It takes a lot of courage. Thank you. I'm just very self aware. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is not in his little uh, robot mode. He's. He's pretty damn cute. Like this, this guy's cute for days. He's got his little mace thing, flail. But yeah, I guess it's a flail. It's not. I don't. The weapon's kind of dumb, but it doubles as his tail, and that's fine. I like his little stubby legs. Although the the arms sticking out on the side of his legs aren't the best. No, if I'm being honest. Also, his arms clearly just have his feet kind of hanging out of the back of his his hands. And he's only like he's like a flat guy on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his uh he has the fin that comes down from here and kind of goes up, but like the back is nothing. But uh I do like his little head. I like his little head a lot. His little face is cute. His little face. They don't they never really transform in the in the cartoon though, do they? They do transform in the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, they transform in the movie. Did they really? Yeah, Grimlock stomps on stomps, gets them to wake up, and then the proletariat turns and attacks the bourgeoisie uh, quintessence. Damn, I, I remember them being in the shark to con mode. I just don't remember them actually transforming. But but a buzzed b I, Ign ignorant of class conflicts. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, as I'm I'm male, I'm white, I'm privileged. I just don't give a shit about this stuff because it doesn't affect me. One day you could find yourself in the shark to con position. Yeah. Going against the quintessent bourgeoisie. Yeah. Packing up. This mockery of justice. Supreme Court's getting crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so that's nah. 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 Skeletor. Nah. <laughs> I like him. He's not great. He's a ten dollar toy. Now wait a minute. Can I can I raise your gnaw with another gnaw? Like sexually? Can we turn off the camera first? No, no, no. Let them watch. Okay. No, let them watch. Okay. This here is the cyberverse gnaw. He's like he's like your gnaws in many respects, but he's not. He's chunky. He's here's gnaw. Here's the other one. He's a biggin. He's a biggin. He's a lot bigger. He's a lot biggins. Yeah, he's a lot biggins. Uh, um, good night, Ionicus Toy Reviews. I love you. I want to party with you. Do I, though? Do I really? Do I know that he parties? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Prophet924 says the shark guys are the best guys and new characters in the movie. Bullshit. There's a lot of new characters in that movie, so that's saying a lot. Yeah. Anyway, should I, should I do this guy real quick? Let's just jump into this bullshit. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. He's basically the same guy, but different. Like, he's simplified, but, like, sculpted differently, too. Like, his legs have to peg into stuff. Because I think this is a kid's toy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a Cyberverse line, right? Yeah. And, like, these arms. It's kids. Yeah, these arms don't move. His little arms. But the hand sculpt is different on the hands. Okay. So, on top of being yeah. bigger, the hands are different. Yeah, instead of like the up and ratchet, these these arms wrap around to pull up. Oh, interesting. And there's no ball, there's no real ball joint, it's just kind of a swivel arm. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then his body kind of moves until you lock his little thing in place. And he's got like kind of a more cartoon, actually accurate head. Yeah, kind of. I also yeah. like his torso a lot better. Yeah, he's super chunk, and then he's got his mace naturally. Ma but, mace Windu. Yeah, he's, he's, he's mace Windu's. 
But the and his fin kind of looks like this in the back. But the reason is because if you unhinge his jaw, you can like make him spin around. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much, but I absolutely love that. I know it's so I get one of these, so I can I just gonna sit there all day and just like. It reminds me, like, in the old Thundercats toy line, there was, like, one of the guys that did this. I'm yeah, I think there's one He-Man, too. The, there's a, he was, like, the Cyclone guy or whatever. Yeah. So he's, like, the same toy, but he's actually different enough, which yeah. is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's surprisingly charming for, like, a, a, a glorified Happy Meal toy. Um, Paul Hughes is in the chat. I just want to say Paul. Paul. Is that a thing you guys do, or no? Like, I just made that up right now. Yeah, okay. you you made it seem like it's like your thing. No, I'm really I'm just really good at like just doing shit. Yeah, just just really getting. If, <laughs> you're practically a cultural zeitgeist. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Like like you get it. Like you, I, I just like, get it. I I fundamentally understand the essence of people. Like, can you be can you be both woke and a cultural a culturally omnipresent at the same time? I feel like that's once you become you get woke awoken to the point where your consciousness expands. Mm. And okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's just what happens. It's just a natural progression. I see. I see. I was I was quickly transforming the shark to con so I could compare sizes. <sighs> that's the, we don't compare sizes on the show, dude. We, you know, you're you're the size you are. It's the, the size God made you, and that's okay. Yeah, the Lord makes mistakes too, man. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's all I got. I, I don't know. I don't know what else you want from me. That's fair enough. I don't really want anything no. else. No wait, I got this. Is this is this how we is this how we end the thing? Is Let's this just do this for another hour. Just that's the, that's the rest of our show. I feel like I'm gonna get carpal tunnel doing this though, but that's cool. I'm I'm as long as we're keeping, you know. The meat in the streets. That's all that matters. Wait, wait I thought our, I thought our main audience was prostitutes. Is it not no. prostitutes? No. Okay. No. I am sorry, everybody that I've called a prostitute. I yeah. thought I thought I was just being correct. Uh, Tony Auletta is in the chat. Everybody. I like that he has to say you're sexy. Like he, yep. he doesn't want to be mean about it. Like he well, can't just he can't just let me have it. You know what I mean? Oh, is that what is you think that's what he's doing there? He's yeah, just, I think so. I mean, I think it's obvious. It's sexy, it's man. Good for me to be nice. Yeah, that's nice of him, I guess. Are we, are we doing a ha a halfsy shot? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm refilling my drink. I, okay. I, 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 I was like, what are you doing? Are you getting ready for this? No, I finished my whiskey and I love I love that there's that band that I, I shared that you and Ryan looked like you guys started an industrial band a while back. And the guy looks like you with that with when you don't have a beard, which what is really about what band? Oh, I, sh I shared there's a band called Clack. Oh. And they do a cover of Pump Up the Jam. Pump up the jam, pump it yeah. up. And it's so good. It's such a good song. That's a different song, but I appreciate where you're coming. No, that's not. It's the same song. Mm -mm. Uh, it's the groove is in the heart. Uh-uh. Oh, shit. You're right. That is the groove is in the heart. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I crossed my 90s jock jams. You did? I did. Wait, wait what? Not a of groove in the heart was on jock jams. It's. Groove in what? the Heart is a good thing. I don't think it's jock jam material. You don't think Groove is in the Heart is a jock jam? I just don't feel like I saw many football games where Groove is in the Heart was raging, but it, I definitely saw Pump Up the Jam. Groove pump. is in the Heart a jock jam. We're going to let the internet figure this out. All right. If I'm wrong, then I'm happy with it. <laughs> I am totes happy with it. Uh, it's 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 on an album called Jock Jams Volume One. Is it on Jock Jams? Damn, I owe you nothing but yeah. respect. <laughs> have I ever <laughs> given you have to give me that? Honestly, have I ever given you respect though? No. Fair enough. 
Lindsay Wait, agrees. It was it, so on there. It's not on that album. Why did it pop up? Hold on. They lied to me. Lindsay, Lindsay says it was so on there. Rock and Roll Part 2 is on there. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah, Pump Up the Jam. It's it's there. I see it. Oh, Tech, no, Tech no, no, Pump Up the Jam is... We're talking about Groove is in the Heart. Well, right. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, because of course Pump Up the Jam is on Jock Jams. It's in the name, Jock Jams. <laughs> It makes sense if we're talking Jock Jam. Oh, you're gonna, it, 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 gonna make a thing go right. Is that on there? Outside. You know what's fun to think about with Rock and Roll Part Two, though. Gary what? Glenn is a pedophile. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, he, he was in a bunch of child porn on his computers and stuff. That's, well, that's the same thing with the. I was super into Lost Profits, and then they found that that guy was the same yeah. thing. But I feel like I, when I go to main, when I've, I've been to like some games, like hockey games and stuff, yeah. they actually will play rock and roll part two. And I always tell the people I'm with, Gary Glitter was a pedophile. And no one's happy with no. me constantly reminding them that pedophiles are, exist and uh, are celebrated at sporting events. We're rock and roll, baby. Okay, you might be right. I'm not seeing Groovers in the Heart anywhere. And I think I, I feel like I've put way too much research in yeah. I think we've gone on our Jock Jams tangent for a while. <laughs> That's our Jock Jams tangent. But I do have I do have um, uh, Pulse, the techno CD. Tierce's copy of Pulse is over there. Uh, yeah. So there's that. I, I don't know if Groove, in, Groove is in the heart on that one, but definitely some uh, techno jams. Tony gave us $5. Yeah, Tony gave us $5 for how he gave us a treat, a Halloween treat. Does that mean we should give him a, a happy shot for funsies? Uh, how about this? How about this? For every ten dollars, we'll do a have you shot. Because last time, I got fucking trashed, and I hated life for four days because people kept giving us two dollars, making us do those two dollars shots. So we'll do we'll do a half shot if we reach ten bucks. You that, are you are you are your your Christian proselytizing roots. Well, like my other option is just saying like, no, we're not going to do any shots. I'm like, I'm, yeah, we'll do it, but like, I feel like I, we were too slutty. We were too easy last time. Yeah, you know, I, I, I gotta have like a higher threshold or else I'll die because I'm fucking 38 years old and I just can't hang like I used to. <laughs> Is this the end of bots and shots? <laughs> Is this the end? <laughs> uh, Paul says we have to do uh, shots and jock jams now. Oh, I am so down to get drunk and just sing jock jams theme song. I can see the I can see his hard drive now. <laughs> Child porn. Hey! <laughs> uh, if anyone was just tuning in right now, the, the writer of that song was into child porn. That's and that's the joke I'm making. I'm not saying that I am. I like that you have to explain it. Yeah. I'm explaining it. <laughs> I like that I set you oh, up on Seth. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you, dude. Uh that's technically all right. See, it's your fault for setting the bar high after we set it low. You should have just ridden it out. Well, I did. I did only say, well, I, here's the thing. I, I'm going to do a full shot. I'm going to do the full, because these are double shot glasses. I said we'd do a half shot for 10. So I'm, You don't have to do it, but I'm doing it. I'm doing you doing, you, yeah, you're doing the full thing? I'm, I'm doing full Monty right here. Fuck you. Fuck you, Tony. We will get to Tony's, and we got to space okay, it out. We're, we're not going to kill ourselves. Fuck me, and to answer your question, how much do I weigh? I honestly don't know anymore. I haven't. I've been too scared ever since COVID. I've been too scared to step on a scale, scale, a scale, because yeah. uh, of just re reasons, you know. Yeah. Not doing anything, eating a lot, uh, your 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 weight kind of just goes. But I'm back on my diet. I uh, it's, it's I'm not seven. What's up? So anyway, we're doing we're doing this. This is a double shot for Seth right here. Clink. Yeah, clink, clink. <coughs> Daddy. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna put on my uh my sunglasses here. Don't don't drop them again. No, I did. I dropped them on the ground. I couldn't find them. They're um 
There my pimp daddy. Oh, I'm just dropping pimp daddy Destro. This is boding well for the night because I've dropped a figure we're not even doing. Yeah. But bring him into camera anyway. Let's let's, let's celebrate pimp yeah, daddy. Let's celebrate uh, pimp daddy Destro. Destro. It takes two to make a thing go right. It, it makes two to make it out of sight. Yeah. So that's Pimp Daddy Destro. Or I sorry, Profit Director Destro. Anyway, Zach, we just did a shot. Um, I think you got the next one first, right? Am I doing the next one first? Yeah, I think I think that's the best way to do it because we because we're gonna compare. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That or you can do the orc like the yeah, they're fresh. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I can do it. Yeah, you just did it, but I'd like to hear you do it again. No, I'm good. Um, I have to cut. Is Zach gonna cut his '80s rock star hair? The answer is fucking never. Yeah, ever. My, my girlfriend would kill me if I did. Yeah, David Smith added a pimp cane to his pimp daddy Destro, and it, it looks pretty. It looks sick. It looks tight. It looks sick. It looks tight. Yeah. Uh, Phil Donnellan, you're late to the party, but not too late. So welcome. Okay. So wait, I'm, I'm, also a chat. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, while, while you're doing that, I'm, I'm saying hi to people in chat. In chat. In chat. What you got, baby? Wait, am I, do am I doing the guy in the package? Yeah, you're doing the guy in the package. Um, you're doing the guy in this package right here. Yeah, I tried to come over, but you're like, no, my girlfriend's no feeling well, so you That's shouldn't come over. First of all, she's my wife. My wife. Um, but we all know who's your real wife. This guy. I just happen to have a ring on that finger, but. Um, am I doing this? Yeah, do it. Fucking do it. This is the pit of judgment. Bailiff? Is he just called the bailiff? He's called the bailiff. The bailiff. The bailiff. Bailiff Tron. Bailiff Tron. Bailiff Tron. Yeah. Um, and he comes with this thing. Uh, oh, cool! You can take it apart because otherwise, yeah, how, how could you make him hold it otherwise? I'll find a way. <laughs> You're pretty good at putting big poles into small holes. I'm glad that you noticed my work. You never comment though. I don't. I don't have time to. Too busy watching me put things in my holes. I get it. I understand. Anyway, he, he's a uh, remold of the Alicon. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he's doing it. He's doing it, too, in it. He's a pretty sexy dude. So, so he's in the movie. In the movie? He's in, he's in the Transformers, the movie. I've heard he's in the Transformers, the movie. The Transformers, the movie. The Transformers, the motion picture. Right. Yeah, the two or the your, four. Your cat is moving the chair, and it's freaking me the fuck out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they like to jump in the chair and make it spin, and they like to ride it. Wee! Was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It is... That's funny. Yeah. We got, we got bots and shots spinning the real cat tricks. Spinning the cats around since 2020. <laughs> um, you know what he kind of looks like? He kind of looks like, like a Ganon, like a Legend of Zelda robot Ganondorf type guy. He's got like a pig snout. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, the pig, the pig version. Yeah, for I sure. Like you, I like how you haven't cut yours out of the package to play along at home. Oh, fine. Fuck. No, I'm just saying. I, I I wasted the time to cut the sharky out of the package for you to just fucking sit back and read comments. Yeah, I'm just doing my job, Zach. You don't get paid for this. I just got paid forty dollars. While you're opening that, I will yeah. also agree. Stumbler one zero four six two. I do need an ice cream truck that sells edibles. I mean, I can just go down the street to the store that sells edibles, like down the street. Yeah, I, got my, I got my card so I can buy stuff from Tradecraft. 
Do you need a card for that Ash of March, like you were saying? In Vista, you do. In San Diego, you don't. That's fucking weird. I yeah, wonder why. Vista ordinances, bro. Damn. Uh, to answer your question, Tony, none of it. We have, we, have, we have not done a Red Series figure yet. I'm still missing the goddamn Optimus. Um, I have actually I have all three Red Series figures right here. I'm jealous. Here. I don't like them. You don't, don't like them, but I'm not a big fan. Fair enough. I I like them a lot actually. It feels like a nice affordable take on the Revoltech ones. Well, I I feel like. We're getting into to toy reviews here, but well, I guess that's, that's what we do anyway. Um, I feel like it doesn't offer anything that the regular toy doesn't, and the regular toy transforms. I guess my thing has always been I don't actually care if it transforms at the core of it because I just like the big dumb robots. You realize these are transformers, right? I understand, and I, I like the gimmick or whatever, but half the time... I just want like a cool fucking robot. I'm a character based collector, Michael, not a gimmick based collector. I only collect gimmicks. I know. That's why I'm on the show. I'm your blonde, sexy lady Vanna White style foil. Lady, from the moment I saw you. Anyways, go do your thing. This is the guy. Anyway, so this yeah. is the big Uh I shall transform him. I'm assuming he's exactly like the Alicon in Transformation. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. um it's a it's legal in uh California Fornia Maniac, but it um in Vista where we live, weirdly enough, you still need a medical card to buy it. But it it's because we're it's because we're not part of the city. We're actually right. the county. Uh, they make it super easy to buy it, to get a card. <laughs> I just said, I told a doctor I was stressed on the phone and he's like, sounds good. And that was it. Sweet. I have some back pain right now. Can I'm sure that'll work. Honestly, it's not even you know, like literally you can make up any reason you want. It, yeah, like, but I really, I really do have back pain. I don't, I, don't to, I don't need to make this up. With an iPad at the dispensary with the doctor on speed dial. That that that's it. Yeah, sounds sounds legit. But we should do a we should do like a edibles and bots and edibles. I'm telling you, edible or devastable. Okay, edible. let us know in the chat, either chat or comments, if you're watching this afterwards. Uh, we we're gonna do a studio series devastator. Should we do it drunk or high? You guys decide. Yeah. Anyway, I, while we were having this discussion, I finished him. This is. Probably the dumbest transformation I've seen in a while. 100%. But yeah. actually not the most dumbest. No, no. Like, it's kind of cool in a weird way, but it's just... He reminds me of a, a Mega Man X villain called Wheel Gator. Wheel Gator! Wheel Gator. Point, fun fact, I like Mega Man stuff, like, a lot. We've done it on this show. For the new viewers. Anyway, here he is. Fugman4 wants us to get um, crossfaded. If I had stuff on me, I would do that. I, I mean, I, I do have stuff on me. I could I could yeah. go. You Come could. Real quick, Zach. I'll give you one. You go back home. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, I'll leave and I'll come back. Just leave the stream open for everyone to wait while I, while I take the time to go over there, and then we'll get it going. Seth brings up a good point. Edibles are... Are safer for your livers. That's true. Yeah, they are. Also, like I'm not looking forward to tomorrow morning. Honest, to be completely honest. Oh yeah, I'm, I I hundred percent. Uh, I I I don't know. I like edible stuff. My only problem is is that like I like edibles more because smoking doesn't really work on me very much. Yeah, I'm not a big I'm not a big smoking fan personally. Well, I don't like smoking. I have I if I'm smoking, I have to get crossfaded to feel stuff. But edibles work on their own. Yeah, it just yeah. takes a while for edibles to kick, to like kick in. Yeah. I wish we had done the episode when I was doing Acid of a Tirsa that one time. That would have been pretty Jeez, That's a completely different episode. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I spent I spent a good portion of that night playing with that Seekers 2-pack from Target uh, yeah. because the colors were super fun. They were super fun. 
And I put Airplane on Netflix because I thought it was appropriate to what I was doing while uh, on acid. That's fair. Yeah, it was a good night. So uh, you did you did yours, yeah? Yeah. I showed you. But real quick, so this dumb weapon, like it's rubbery yeah. on the top half. Right. Which is kind of silly. Like, why didn't they make them both hard plastic? Like, why have one half piece kind of weird and one rubbery? Well, yeah, that's a good question. And you know what? Since since you're doing yours, I'm going to bring up my next one, too. I have the regular Alicon. Okay. Here. And let's just talk about his robot mode for a second, since you have yours in your robot mode. I mean, his beast um, mode? They're the exact same size. They're, they're, I mean, they're the same figure. But with... I think different molding on the nose here and the shoulders for and sure. the shoulders for sure. And then different colors. Yeah. But let's talk about how stupid these arms are. Yeah, basically your, yours is the level five bad guy and mine yeah. is the level 50 bad guy. It's That's true. The, That's the of yours. Yeah. Um, his, his mouth opens, which is kind of fun. Oh yeah. Like this part of him is really great. Yeah, like the the head tail part's great, and if yeah. you get the legs kind of right, they're okay. But these, like you were saying, yeah, the I'm not a fan of how they decided to do the arms because the robot arms are literally just here. He's he's go he's hanging out like this. Yeah, and the then he's got time. arms coming off of his shoulders. He's the guy you don't want to like fight when he says, I'll do it with both arms tied behind my back because he's got other arms. Because he's got different arms. This toy does have some of my favorite ankle tilt of all time, though. It has a crazy amount of ankle tilt, that's for sure. Like he can spread eagle pretty good, but still keep his feet flat on the ground. Like he can definitely take a low ride in Duke. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't really have to hover too far above the. Seth Pierce says it's like a robot street shark. Yeah. Um, a robot gator street it's, shark. It's jawsome. I like that you um, went there. My Tony, my edibles are – I've got some gummies. Um, they're peach rings, and then I have uh, Rice Krispie treats. And then we've got – I got some tinctures to just kind of put a little oil under the tongue. That's – I haven't tried that yet, but Lily says it's not great. Because the oil gets all over your mouth and doesn't feel great. And that's it. I, I don't smoke. I don't like smoking. Yeah, to answer Fugman, I do not have any G.I. Joe of, of the new G.I. Joe series. I like it. Old G.I. Joe's? I have a whole bunch of old G.I. Joe's in like storage. Green Orange G.I. Joe's or or, yeah. or Sigma Six G.I. Joe's. No. Uh the real ones from the, the 90s. The Fair ones are like molded battle ready like this the whole time. And there was like, yeah. is that what were they, were they called? Like the real GI Joes or no, it was, it was real American called? hero. No, no. Like the, the, the super posable ones where Cobra commander wasn't the bad guy anymore. It was like scar or whatever the fuck it was Wait, called. What? Remember like the nineties ones. It was like a GI Joe spinoff. Oh, the, the savage, the, the savage. That's like the yeah. savage GI Joes. Yeah. I never had those, but I remember them. All right, I'm transforming. Um, He's transforming. And Tony, right. we haven't forgotten. We haven't forgotten your stupid. We shot. haven't forgotten your stupid shot, Tony. We're just pacing ourselves because we're old, and we really haven't been doing this this long yet. That's true. We're we're almost in, we're an hour into our, our live stream. So, Fred, should we give him some behind the scenes knowledge about a Boston shots regular episode? Um, mm -hmm. sure. Go ahead. So, usually, when we sit down to do it. We do about six, like our, our re six regular shots or three double shots in a row before we take a break. Like we do all the rounds, but even then we ramble on for like ever. Then we take a break for like a half hour, usually because Mike has to poop or something. That's true. Yeah, that might still happen tonight. Who knows? I ate, I ate a bunch of pizza. Yeah, you never know. Sigma six equals sigma sucks. That sounds sexy. I feel like he just hit the nail on the head with the gay porn version of Sigma Six. Let's get on that. No, we're not getting on that one. No, we're not getting on that one. Anyways, yeah. you're talking about behind the scenes. Oh yeah, just so like us doing this many shots in an hour is I can't remember if this is like the normal amount of time we do those shots or if this is shorter because it's we ramble, shorter because we ramble a lot. We we, we, yeah. we all, 
We spend like 45 goddamn minutes on an intro anytime we do an episode of this show. That's true. All right. So this this is my dude. I love him in that mode. Yeah, me too. He looks great. I usually fold his little vestigial arms. I usually yeah, I, fold, I usually I, fold them into his shoulders. Like this? Yeah, so they like they, they just kind of beef out his shoulders a little bit. Yeah, he looks you a little do that, or I, I feel like they kind of beef out his, his forearms. If that's like, what you're like, if he punches he's you, he's like double punching you. If that's what you're insecure about, then you you fold the you, you fold the vestigial you, arm. Basically, you, you can do whatever you want with his arms, they're vestigial. Yeah. I just you feel can, like I think officially, I think officially they, they go back like this, so you can't really see him from the front. Yeah. But they're there. Didn't, didn't I do the uh, third party one on yes. one of our mini bot mini yeah, bot you episodes? Did. You did. And they, they solved the arm problem mostly. Yep. Well Hasbro's pretty lazy. They are pretty lazy. They only they only do so much. Like, here's the thing. For a twenty dollar toy, is it bad? No. I mostly like this. I'm half like the other mode. I don't think it's bad. I just think it could be better. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like how chunky is in the bot mode. The beast yeah. mode is is really kind of lazy. I wish they kind of like had the arms. Like I thought they should, should, should try to fold them out from the little arm, like the little forearm bit. Or you could just like pop them off if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, like even if they like folded in like they curved around like, or something. Yeah, like you can already pop off his tail if you want to. Like, why couldn't you just pop off his little arms? Yeah. Put them on mushroom pegs, pop them off. Easy peasy. Put them somewhere else. I don't know. I don't I don't mind parts forming personally. What are you what are you yeah. what are your thoughts on parts forming? I don't really care um if the robot mode looks cool. Like if I can take it off, if I hate it, that's fine. But I really haven't had a parts former that I like hate so much that I just give up on the toy. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm um, also kind of discerning. But anyway. Fugman wants to know when the last time we did a bots and shots in person was. It was uh September. September ish, yeah. 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 Like we could we could do it now. Normally we, we would have done it, but uh Zach's work had a COVID scare and it kind of yeah. and then we just didn't ruined it. it. And Mike yeah. wanted to do, Mike wanted one for Halloweeny, and we just didn't have time, so we threw this kind of this piece together. Yeah, yeah, it felt it felt weird letting Halloween go by and not doing anything. Yeah, at all. But yeah. now we do we do have a plan on the books. We uh, do. We are meeting, we're meeting in a couple of votes. From now. I think the votes are in that we're doing getting high so far. Okay. Well, whatever happens, happens. I took the day off from work, so so if you if we we, we could just go nuts, I don't care. De Devastatables is the Devastatables word. Devastatables. So these are the two, the bailiff and the regular guy, kind of side by side. Uh, mm -hmm. Mostly, the head is way different, and I actually like the head on the regular one a lot better. Is that just me? I don't know. I'm grabbing my third party one to compare. Oh, gotcha. To because I got the little set of them. Yeah, what that one's called like Carmax or something. Yeah, something like Corbot. 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 Yeah, and he's he's a little more like I guess old schooly, but he's yeah. cute. Yeah, he's cute. There was a sale on him back then, and I really liked it at the time. And I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna have a whole array. For sure, he's like yeah. a, it's a different species of Alicon. Yeah. Like, but yeah, you see. There's definitely different molding on the chest here. Yeah. It's not just different colors. It's like completely different molding. Exactly. I feel like once I get my full Quintesson set up, I'm going to have Dave, David Attenborough do like a narration as he looks and over. And here we have the Alicon in his native habitat. And here is the lesser Alicon. <laughs> this is the female Alicon presenting herself to the male. Oh, no. A wild bailiff has entered. <laughs> the bailiff Alicon is an invasive species yes. to Cybertron. He is known to often try to mate with the female Alicon. Despite the fact that the female Alicon will not give him the time of day. 
unless he has a Benz. Well, a Benz or a Pens? A Benz. Oh, a I see. Benz. Fugman loves us together, just so you know. It's very nice of him. Aw. Aw. But we're not together. We're apart. Yeah. Um, Maniacs got uh, some tincture tips. Maniacs tincture tips. This is the episode, the part of the episode we're on right now. Where we talk about is tincture tips. We're talk we talk about tinctures. Uh, Lily doesn't really get high. She um, it, it makes her a little a little paranoid. I don't know if she wants me to actually talk about that. So I'm she's very high strung though, so I can I can see that it would kind yeah. of yeah. Other brains. I'm just going back through and looking at. Let's see. Yes, I did see the build up pack rumors. Uh, for Black Series, uh, let's see here. Making an airplane joke. Oh, because you did the acid thing. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, cool. So, uh, is, it time, is it time for another? Should we do Tony's or should we? We should we, should we do Tony's? Yeah, we should, we, we should do it. We should just get, over, just get it over. Let's get it out of the way. Let's deal with it. You know what's, yeah. fun about, what's fun about the comments is it reminds me of the episodes we did where we had viewer questions that we yeah answered. those were fun episodes for sure yeah. but there were times that we got like super drunk because we took the time to do that so the booze yeah. like really sunk into us yep it was there uh, bad times good times and different it times? was both bad and good times it was good times good good times or good gad times. times? Gad, Josh Gad times. Josh Gad times. Josh Gad times. I don't like Josh Gad. Me neither. I don't um, hate him, but I don't get it. I guess because we already have Ryan, so why do I need another Josh Gad in my life? What yeah. is Josh Gad if not a poor man's Ryan? Yeah, or a rich man's Ryan since he has like a movie career. Well, I mean now. Yeah. What else did he have before that? I don't really know who he is. He was in... He's in Frozen, right? Yeah, he was in Frozen. He was in the original run of um, Book of Mormon. Uh, the yeah. I watched. I saw that. It was pretty good. It was pretty funny. I didn't. So it's not. I know who he is, but I just didn't know yeah. who he was before that. Uh, Paul Paul Hughes, the uh, Vanilla Crown's delicious. He he's. Michael is all about his Crown Royale variant. They have a lot of really good flavors, and the vanilla one is one of my favorites. Vanilla and apple are my two go-tos. Do you ever mix them with an apple? No, but now I will. Just pour them both together Just in one, baby. Right down in my pants. That's where I drink from. He does. His penis is not so much a penis as like, you know. Well, you know how um, in, uh, in Mork and Mindy, Mork would drink from his pinky? Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I just stick my dick right in there. So where do you pee from? Oh, I got. It. It explains the smell when you talk sometimes. Yep. yep. Okay. 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 Well, Bullwinkle's here at one a.m. North Carolina. In my mind. Cause I'm going to Carolina in my mind. That's, that, that's the folk country portion of Bots and Shots, by the way. North Carolina is where my other Mike lives. What? I was, well, I was born in South Carolina, but I lived in North Carolina for a while. South Carolina? Why, why even have two Carolinas? Yeah, I don't know. Just make it one big Carolina. And I feel that way about the Dakotas, too. Yeah, fuck you, yeah. one of the Dakotas that separated from the other Dakota. I know it's hard to tell which Dakota you would favor. Which yeah. okay in a war, North okay. or South Dakota, who wins? Wait, wait, like did I want to win or based on who has the tactical advantage to win? Both. Okay, I want North Dakota to win because I want Fargo shows to have scenes at Mount Rushmore. For okay. whatever reason, yeah, but I think tactical advantage goes to South Dakota because no one will want to hurt Mount Rushmore, so they can set up a missile array there and just bomb North Dakota. I like your reasoning. 
I get and, it. And, and, and they could team up with Canada to annex a portion of North Dakota if they win. Okay. So advantage South Dakota. Okay. Uh, Tony wants you to showcase your Mecha Godzilla if you have it handy. Wait, which Mecha Godzilla? The one, the that one he got you for Christmas last year. I can I can go get it. I think it's out in the living room with my Godzillas. Let's do a shot first. Let's do a shot, and then I'll go fetch some Zillas. Cheers. Wink. This is for you, Tony. <sighs> I'm going to grab that Zilla real quick. Yeah. I think, um, Paul, I think it's, I think this is correct. It's hard, hardier, but I like hardier because let's imagine everyone walking around with erections. <clears throat> you know, I do like, I like the, uh, Fargo TV show. It's a good show since I'm by myself. <clears throat> All right, I'm back with some Zillas. Cool. This is, this is for Tony. He gave me yep. this sweet, sweet <clears throat> Mecha Godzilla. That's that Mecha Godzilla. And that Mecha God. And Mecha Zilla. Zilla. Mecha and just because just he might have preached real quick, my buddy uh, hooked me up with these uh, Deferil Godzillas. They're super Those cute. Are adorbs. Those are Tony's adorbs. There's a super cute. And then I got this one at DesignerCon that Tirsa painted up for me all sweets. My little chunk zills. And then this little cute guy from a little like guy from Viet or from Vietnam that I bought at Designer Con also. So Tony, be jealous of my zills. Did it That's sound like I was peeing right there? I just kind of wanted it to did. It sounded like you were pleasuring yourself while relieving yourself. I often do that. You do. You do. Well, I'm mean, my hands on it anyway. But the whole time? Yeah. Because you're saying, like, when we're just casually talking on the show, when we're live streaming, your hand is just casually on your stuff. Yeah. Because usually when we film, my hand is always casually on your stuff under the table. Yep. For the viewers at home that know. Yep. Anyway. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This yeah. is how drunk I am right now. Are you starting to feel it? What? Are you starting to feel it? I am. Uh, I so just so to catch everyone up, we we have done an opening shot just to do one. Mm -hmm. Seth Pierce bought us both a full shot for twenty bucks. Then Tony bought us both a full shot for twenty bucks. We've had five dollars donated. If another five dollars pops up, we'll do another half shot. But yeah, um, I would appreciate it if nobody did that because yeah, Mike does not want you to do that. I we've just, also been, I'm we've not also, looking. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. We've also been drinking intermittently on our yeah. Own. Well, this this I just was refilling. Oops, I'm I keep sticking to my glass. I was refilling my uh, Coke and whiskey here, so I'm I'm also drinking this. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, Papa G probably went to bed. He does that. It's also it's like one a.m. his time. I feel like he's he's that guy in the party scene who just shows up at the club, says hi to a few people, so you're like, oh hey, Papa G's here, and then bounces like For sure. So you're just like, oh, where's Papa G? Oh, he's probably out with that one chick, you know? Yeah, you know, his wife. It's fucking um, cool. My cat runs out. I have to go open the door for her. Shh. I know. His, his cat wants out. Mine are in here asleep. Partying hard. His cat's He was too. pawing at the door. My cats are sleeping. Oh, Papa Gord's still here. He's still in. I mean, I mean, because I'm drunk. You feeling it? It was a good episode to bring out the Zillas on, only because I have so many other like Sharkies and Alicons on my desk right now. I'm sorry, Papa Papa Gorb, proving he's not a he's not a wimp. You son of a bitch, Tony! You son of a bitch! All right, we're gonna give that some time. Hey, give 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 us like ten minutes. 
Give give, give us some time. We got some more. We got some more shit to do. Um, should, we, should we answer any more questions before we move on? Uh, go ahead and ask questions. I'm gonna pop the, the next thing out because we got we got some other shit in this box. It's not. Oh, just, so are, are we gonna we gonna do the side shit before we? Yeah, do I think so. Thing? I think so. Okay. okay. Um, I'll do I'll do the little one. So the, the one in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So the next you. thing the next thing in here. Uh, and this is exclusive to the uh, the set. Uh, what's this guy's name? Is like Krennix or something? Krennix. Krennix. It's, it's too bright. I got. I got. There we go. It's just. It's Krennix. He's the guy uh, who gets eaten. So so because I'm kind of drunk, I'm getting drunk, and I don't yeah, want bring out the lore. His his arms don't move, right? No, no. Uh, okay, he has zero points of articulation. Because I didn't. Because his arms are like separate pieces from his body, and I was gonna start like, why don't these move? And start trying to pull it. No, 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 no. Um, he has absolutely zero points of articulation. He is he's clearly made of at least one three pieces. The arms are definitely separate, but they do not. Yeah. Move. But he's Kranix. And boy, is he Kranixing hard. No, Tony, we don't owe you two. That's now one and a half. It's one and a half, you piece of shit. It's every 10 bucks, dude. Every 10 bucks, we do a half shot. That's he the said, rule. Mike sets the rules. So far, you've bought a half a shot. And I'm not saying buy more. For the love of God, fucking stop. We'll do it. I promise, okay? Yeah. Just, just fucking stop. Yeah, just, just, just give us 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. We're not kids anymore. That's true. I'll, yeah. Although I might be. I mean, emotionally. So, yeah, this is Kranix. He comes in the box. He's there just to stand at the end above the shark to con. Um, because why not? I think one of the thing, one of the cool things about this is it's meant to kind of pair with the new studio series figures they announced. Yeah. That are all based off of the '86 movie. I love '85 movie. '86. '86. Yeah, because next year makes it uh, what? 30, 35, 30, 35, 35. Yeah. 35. Um, what I love, I love so much, is that all the rage the Bayformer Studio Series people are showing at this Studio Series '86 thing. Only because it doesn't mean they're not going to do Studio Series Bayformers anymore. There's just two sublines. Right. Now, now they're doing regular series. Bayformers and they're doing... Studio Series 86. Right. And yeah. I'm super excited for them because, I mean, I've watched the Tauntaun reviews. They all look fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, let if you let the G1ers get their bullshit out of the way, right. you, you can get your shit too. Everyone can get shit. It's, this is not a zero sum system, you know. Yeah. It just if someone gets something, it doesn't mean you don't get your thing too. Yeah. Everyone can get their thing. Just give it time. Just chill a little bit. Just chill, chill a little bit. the fuck out. That's why third party even exists it was to fill the void for shit that we no one else was getting for a while. We all exist in time. We we do all exist in time. <clears throat> Bullwinkle 80 says the ha quotes we're not kids anymore lol with 500 toys behind you love it this is we like we understand the irony of, of our statements oh yeah don't we don't no i get it i deserve it yeah 100 percent. yeah i don't find any of that any anytime anyone says anything like that i don't find it insulting even a little bit no, like, I, no. I feel like if you can't be a little self-deprecating with yeah. your hobbies you don't deserve it i mean this isn't like your race or, or your sexual orientation, or whatever. This nope. is something you choose to indulge in. I you, choose to, to purchase these. Yeah, like if you can't take the piss out of yourself a little bit, you should probably just chill out on doing what you're doing because people are going to break your heart a lot. They're going to break your heart a lot. Uh, so here, fun story, Fugman. For before I met my wife, I mean, yeah, even when I met my wife, I would, I was went through a period where I just decided. I was bored being single, and I went on a bunch of dates. I, I dated literally anyone that said they would go on a date with me. I went on fucking uh, OkCupid, and I just hit like messaged every girl. 
I was respectful. I sent fun messages. I didn't oversend messages. Um, you know, and I had some great conversations. I went on at least on average, I would say six dates a month. And some of them got to the point where I would bring them home. And I always did that as a litmus test to see how they'd react to my collection. But at the time, my collection was like one bookshelf. So it wasn't as embarrassing. But I met my greatest relationship at, of all time because of my collection. Yeah. In the in and, the midst of your superstorm of collecting, too. That, and 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 you're looking at that person on screen right now. Hey babies. That was you. That was you. I would say that that's you. That's you right there. That's not I true. Have, my, my wife is my greatest relationship, but my second is Zach. And the only reason we're friends is because he walked by my room at a house party we were having, and he saw my very small Transformers collection in the corner of my room. Up until then, Mike hated me. That's like, true. I hated your fucking guts. And then I walked by, yeah, I walked by, and it's like, hey, the Transformers. And then, I think like, we spent the rest of my the rest of the night in my room. Yeah, just talking, talking about Transformers. Yeah, my girlfriend was like, can we go soon? I'm like, eh, it's cool. I mean, yeah, I can, but I'm talking about Transformers now. No, no. And it's okay to fuck man also. Uh, just chase your dreams. The girl is out there somewhere. I mean, I met Tirsa and we've been together for like nine years. And we started talking about King of Fighters and stuff. So That's true. And you guys like collect King of Fighters shit. Yeah, we collect all kinds of weird shit together. Yeah. Weird and obnoxious. Uh yeah, so bull bull Winkle, we know, dude. We're 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 not, like we we know you're good. We're good. It's all good. We, we're just it was a great topic to bring up. So I'm happy yeah. you did. I I I can't. I mean, my shelves are a mess right now because I was moving a bunch of stuff around. So nothing is in the place where it's supposed to be. But and that's not even. I ha this is like I was boxing shit up and it was getting fucking weird. Uh, trying to decide which kids to throw away or to oh kill. man. That's tough. I'm I'm out of shelf space. I'm like legitimately. Yeah. I I have these toys here because I don't know where to put them. I'm out yeah. of space. I I am slowly putting toys aside to sell, and it's been I hard. Need to do that. I keep I keep staring at my fans' toys and Secticons. Like, do I need you? I know that'd make a lot of people happy for me to sell them, but yeah. And you're damn right, Lily. You're damn right. Lily is damn right. You're so lucky you met another blonde as hot as me, you piece of shit. <laughs> our, our eyes meet over Sideswipe and Will Jack. My heart was pounding like the Matrix of Leadership. It was actually it was actually uh, um, Jetfire and Skywarp. Is where That's I, true. I had the MP Skywarp and the Classics Jetfire in the corner. Yeah. Fun fact about both of those, I had a really hard time. So I ordered, I really wanted, I had the first Masterpiece Optimus Prime, right? The the big one. Yeah. And I really wanted Masterpiece Skywarp. And he was like a Walmart exclusive or something. And I go on Amazon, they had him for like 140 bucks or something. And I'm like, I'm gonna get him. Like yeah. I need him. He's impossible to find now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pay it. And three or four times I'd buy it off Amazon and they would, it, cause it was like third party Amazon sellers. They would send me the fucking like revenge of the fallen, like movie star scream, not, not the masterpiece star scream. Right. Like I, the picture would be masterpiece star scream. The yeah. description is masterpiece star scream, but I would get this shitty like movie figure instead. And it happened three times until I eventually actually got the one that I wanted. But I kept yeah. asking the seller. I'm like, "This is not what I ordered. This is not the. This is not what was like promised." And they kept apologizing and refunding my money. And like, you know, I kept one of the them, and I sent the other two back because, like, I'm like, "This is ridiculous. Just yeah. fucking send me my masterpiece Starscream or uh, Skywarp." But I finally got that masterpiece Skywarp. Do you think it'd be easier now? 
like to, to hook it up or do you think the sellers still fuck because I, I, I don't do third party sellers for, yeah, on, I don't on, know. On, for on that kind of stuff anymore because i was just go to, like the tf sources and the big bad toy stores and the chosen primes and stuff you know what i mean that, that was back in like 2010 or so or 2011 so i didn't maybe even 2012 uh but like i wasn't entirely sure no because it was before i we moved into that house it was like 2011 mm -hmm. um but I like I didn't really know how like third party sellers worked or anything on Amazon. Like I wasn't, I was kind of a, a noob to yeah all that stuff. So yeah, I've got no idea. Because I used to buy like vinyl and CDs and stuff off third party sellers on Amazon all the time, but I never really bought a lot of toys off there. Uh, Zach, it sounds like Tony just wants to buy some of your toys. I think so. I I do sell on eBay, but you could always just message me personally and, and yeah, tell you that way. Like, there's, I mean. I, I, I hate eBay because they price gouge the fuck out of you. For I'd sure. Rather, I would yeah. honestly much – like I feel like at one point – like because I've got a bunch of bots to sell too. Yeah. Um, I, I think we should do – we should do a uh, – We should do a, like, a live auction. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, and that way we can bundle. Like what if I have yeah. something someone wants and he and you have the other thing he wants yeah. and we can put them together and ship them we out. Should, so. We should just come together – Get a bunch of bots, do a live stream, and I feel, I, I feel like we, we should film an infomercial like those guys that sell knives late night on TV and just be like, We got this here nice uh toy. That we're <laughs> well, we have here is a 2008 constructive concept. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know nothing about it. It's like fucking QVC. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's at it again. We'll get we'll get to it in a little so, bit. Tony. So, for I think that adds up to one extra shot. Yeah, and we'll get that, to it. We'll get we'll get to it in a minute. That adds up to one extra shot, like a full a full double shot, a full dubs. The full dubs. We got the full dubs. The full dubs. Uh, Bug Man says we're having some fun on Mike's channel. That is the truth. I don't know if we are. I'm dead inside. I don't know how anyone else is. I'm a blonde. Well, you could I be know. dead on the outside too. I could be, but I refuse to be. Because no, I like that attitude, Mister. I like being obstinate. That's kind of what I do. Like I'm only still alive because I refuse to give anyone satisfaction of seeing me dead. You know what I mean? You pee weird, and with a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> well, you don't get the pee shivers. I do, but not every time. That's true. What What actually determines whether or not you get the pee shivers? I don't know. I don't even have to pee that bad. But I'll get the pee shivers from peeing. It could honestly be from like a temperature variation. Maybe it's like a, a bit more humid than usual. I don't know. Yeah. It, I it, pee shivers are a weird phenomenon. It's like yeah. ball lightning. What I the weirder phenomenon for me is always like when you pee long enough to have a second train of thought and then you catch yourself doing it. Like you start thinking about something when you're peeing and you peed for like a minute and you're like still like Oh yeah, but what about this other thing? And then you realize that you've been peeing that long. Cool. What about ism? Hey, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer all these questions, we don't know. We no, didn't we have, really no have much of an agenda. We are stalling so hard for time. This is a hundred. We're, we're padding time right now. So yeah. here's the thing, maniac. If we do this, and I'm not saying we will, but if we do this, uh, we would we would probably do some some pretty crazy deals because we're not, we're not looking to like, at least I'm, me, I'm not, I'm not looking to like make, to gouge people for money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to scout. Good night, Papa Gordon. See, he was going to bail out at some point, but I love you. Oh, wait. You, you did Kranich. Should I do the other guy before we officially Yeah, you should do the other guy. Because we never did that thing. What is this guy's name? Because I wasn't paying attention to what this guy's name is. Oh, was. fuck. I don't know. Let me look it up real quick. A squid guy in Transformers the movie 86. I spelled most of those words right. Oh, this guy has a movable thing, though. Well, look at fucking you. Look, look at me, buddy. I'm gonna change it to squid arm guy. Squidrums guy. Mr. Squidrums. Here's the, the cast. Let's look up 
looking up the cast here. I bet you it's on the instruction sheet. It fucking might be. Apparently, John DiMaggio voiced Crosshairs. And that, that 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 that's the movie. Like, that's like, that's uh, the movie. That's the movie. I was like, John DiMaggio. How old was he in '86? He's the prosecutor. Bender. So wait. So so the guy I'm doing. So wait. I'm gonna. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. Right. Hey Zach, I found out the answer. It's the prosecutor. Yeah, I already said that. But okay. This is this is the prosecuting attorney. Dun, dun. I feel like it was a Law and Order SVU episode. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how does the how does the entrance to that go? Like like every year there are special crimes. <laughs> Why has anyone ever has anyone ever done a hot rod and cup on trial at Law and Order si or cyber? <laughs> 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 If no one's done it, someone should fucking animate this. But there's this guy. He's a squid guy. You know what his arms remind me of? His little squigglies? They remind me of like globular. Like globulus from the old like uh Transformer or uh, G.I. Joe. Kinda, kinda, yeah, I can get it. He looks like an alien. Well, like like the accessories, like the accessories they had, they had like little squid arms. But his head turns, so he's down to clown. Like all the way around, like a full three sixty. You're not even paying attention to me, are you? You're reading. I, the I am. I am listening to you. No, it's fine. Read your comments. Read your I'm fucking comments. fucking Zacky Coon. Just keep talking, you big dick. He's here. He's queer. Get used to it. There you go. You went that way. Not even he's here. He's dear. Get used to it. No, I didn't because I don't want to give you the satisfaction. You will any... always give me satisfaction, baby. Hey. Till you win me back every time. Let's, let's get the jock jams back. That's what I want to do. I really do. I really I, I want to go to karaoke, but I'm afraid of the Rona. That's true. I mean, honestly and genuinely, I miss karaoke. I do too, but I do. So, like, if we could get those microphone condoms, yeah, that'd be great. Because I I used to use those all the time in like those uh, rehearsal lockout studios you yeah. get at, where you have like or like little masks and you put them on the top of microphones that you use, right? Because like I spit a lot when I sing, I know who I am inside. I know it. I live my life. I mean, that's that's good. Yeah. I don't. I can't wait to answer Tony's question, which I saw. I can't show a couple items right for sale because I don't have anything for sale yet. I haven't decided what I'm selling. We have to think about it. It's not something we can just willy nilly think about. It's like how many of your kids are you going to get rid of? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You have to really think about it. My cats are threatening to escape the room. It looks like they just opened the door. Tirsa showed up. Oh, is that what happened? She just I, was like, I was like, I've got bad news for you. Your door, your cats have figured out the locks, like Velociraptors in Jurassic mm -hmm. Park. Hi, Tirsa. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's a witch. She's a witch. That's, that's, actually, her, that's actually her normal outfit. Yeah, that's how she normally yeah, dresses. That's how she yeah. normally dresses. Yeah, just with a mask now. Right. <laughs> Just as pale as she is normally, so it's not, it's not really different. Yeah, there's no no difference to this whole situation. Tears is fantastic. Thanks for playing along. She didn't play along. Anyway, so what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? Are you dead talking about the prosecutor? <laughs> I guess. We, we rambled about so many other things after Cranix. I don't even remember where we left off. See, this is the problem... With doing live streams versus the filming ones is easier to get back on tangent. Oh my god! We're like, like I feel like I feel like this show is a hundred percent tangent. Yeah, yeah. Like another behind the scenes quote is that how many times I will get a random text from you while you're editing while I'm at work. Like, you know, we talked about Thundercats for forty five minutes, and I'm like, I don't even remember doing any of this. But that's that's true. Minutes. No, no, we'll do that so many times. <laughs> like, I remember one time we were editing. I think it was the first. Was the Headmasters episode? We we talked about we talked about Masters of the Universe for like a good forty five minutes. Yeah, and I don't remember a goddamn thing about any of it. Yeah, absolutely not. We often some things we often get uh, distracted with Highlander. Yeah. Random songs. All right. Childhood memories. Yes. That's about it. Oh, He Man. I think He Man. He Man. Comes he Man's one. Sometimes Mask. I feel like we also do the dinosaurs theme song. Dino dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. 
Yeah, that's that's yeah. A, that's definitely one that goes that just goes. Yeah, it just goes. It just goes. It just goes. <laughs> anyway, should we answer that question? How many transformers? How many? You know? Oh, is that what TF said? Yeah, more than this many. Yeah, more than this many. Like Wait, here. I don't I think this many and a half. <laughs> I want to say I think, I think that Maniac just came up with our, our new slogan. What? Zero percent discretion, one hundred percent digression. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know how like, Thu, Thu has like a limited keeping it real, limited appeal or something like that? Like yeah. I feel like I feel like that's ours right there. Yeah. No. I'm maniac, I'm I'm stealing this. Yeah, you genuinely don't know how much bullshit is left on the cutting room floor. Oh like, so we, we, when we record like a normal episode, the the opening is its own video, and that's usually twenty minutes easily of us trying and to. I, not did laugh I edit well. down to like two minutes tops? Yeah, because we have to not laugh while screaming things. So many not- takes. So many takes. Uh, the then we do each because we do ten rounds. Um. We do two rounds, two rounds, two rounds. So there's five videos. And each video is usually around 30 to 40 minutes, sometimes an hour. And I edit that down to 10 to 15 minutes. That, that so you're just you're getting like like this much of of it. Because I feel like no one, if, if someone sees like a three hour long like bots and shots episode, they're not going to want to watch it. Like I wouldn't want to watch it. I almost that three hour time stamp. And I'm like, fuck no. I'm trying to keep it to around an hour, hour minimum, hour and a half. So I have to edit like four or five hours down to like that. Yeah. How long was, were our last live streams? Cause I feel like those went on for like fucking ever. Like two and a half hours. I think has been our longest one. Well, then, well, there was the one we ended, and then we ended up talking to Dave and Emily in fucking Britain at, like, 3 in the morning. Yeah, oh, yeah, so there's that one time that, yeah, we were done with a live stream, and then we, I randomly messaged some people that live in England, <laughs> and we did, like, an hour-long, like, interview with them. I still have that. It's, yeah. a, it's an interview. I, I was going to release it um, back in July, but my brother died, so, like, that just yeah, everything kind of got wonky. Yeah, went crazy. Um, Paul Hughes says he thinks he has a great idea for a Boston Shots T now that we have that sweet tagline. So that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Paul Hughes, send me a message. You know, we're friends on Facebook, probably. Probably. And Seth says we run a tight ship, and the production quality is always tight. That's nice. Mike does a lot of work. I don't do anything. So oh, that is shit. Mike deserves all the credit. I basically just wait for him to, to for him to shamble me. I feel like the singer in a band where like the guy has done all the music and he's just like, hey, come do this bullshit. And then that's and not then, entirely true. You do some stuff. You you are really good at deciding what bots we should probably do and a theme around it and the order that they should be done in. Yeah, so stupid singer bullshit is basically I, I name the songs basically. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I, I write the lyrics. I understand. Oh man, my my buddy Charles is in the the chat now. What's up, man? How, how's it going? Charles. Happy Halloween! It's ten thirty at night here, so it's I like not it. quite Halloween, but we're getting there. His name is Marvel and DC, but I have a question. What about Image? Are we going to hit the hard hitting questions? That's, that's a great question. So first of all, uh, Charles, Marvel and DC, which one do you like better? And what are your thoughts on image? Let us know down in the downstairs area. So I feel like definitely, real quick sidebar, real quick tangent. Uh, um, I feel like back in the '90s was the last era for when people were properly on a "I'm a DC or a Marvel guy" tangent. Like you grew up in that fire. You like you decided as a child, like I'm a DC guy or I'm a Marvel guy, and you didn't cross those lines. Like you, yeah. it was brand loyalty a hundred percent. But the 2000s kind of changed the game. You kind of like everything, but it, but I still definitely carry that prejudice toward DC in my life. Sure, uh, I, it's it's not showing up in here, so I can't put it up. But uh, Fugman says if you want this channel to grow, YouTube or asses now. He's saying because you you swore we we both swear we're also drinking. Here's the here's the secret about me. 
Um, I have like 14,000. I don't care. I don't care how many subscribers I have. I don't care how People tell you the number annoyingly proud. Yeah. We did this when I had 100 subscribers. We'll do this if I have a million subscribers. I I don't – I'm not concerned with growth. I'm not concerned with how much money YouTube is bringing into me. I'm doing this because I like to do this. I, I have the means. I have the stuff. Apparently, I have the personality. I just don't have the face. But uh, Zach does, which is why I bring him in. That's that's my view on it. I don't really care about – There's, I mean, I could do a lot to grow my channel better. I could – Link up and follow the algorithms, and I just—it's too much work, and I don't really give a shit. There's so, a level of laziness that you yeah. hold on to that you can't—you can't get rid of. For sure. Yeah. It's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm still sure I'm moving, moving this way, way, and I guess that's kind of the bare minimum about what I care about. He sucks at the teeth of Marvel. Yep. With you right there, buddy. I was never a DC guy. Uh. Marvel and DC, uh, he loves image and he likes comics and superheroes. He doesn't give a shit. No doubt. Seth Pierce, you and your brother have voices that the radio loves. It doesn't really care about your face. But, but like I said, I'm going to do a shout out here. Uh, Seth Pierce is part of a brother duo that I was on their podcast for. Uh, they do a, a, a video a podcast. It's not a video. It's a podcast called hey. Classic Brothers Gaming. Uh, and what's cool about them is they do just an absolute shit ton of research. It's like the opposite of this show where we do whatever the opposite is of research. We Well, we claim to know things and yeah. every once in a while. We look it up to verify if we're 100%. correct. Other, otherwise, we just let it go out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So... They have a fantastic podcast I was on. Uh, we talked about JRPGs and a little bit of MMOs, uh, and it was a lot of fun. But they actually researched me and gave me a script of things that I needed to read, which I loved because it sounded like I was even a little bit knowledgeable on the subject. That's all I wanted for your 40s and 20 days was a yeah. script before I showed up that night because half the time I had no idea what the fuck you were talking about. I think my favorite episode we did of that 40s and 20s that you were on is we, we did for somehow – we went from 12 years of slave and we started doing Pokemon references. All right. I don't even know how that works anymore. I but it made sense at the time. There was one night we did a bots and shots episode and then went into a 40s and 20s and Cody was on that episode. I and, that was, and that was a garbage episode. That was just fucking I, nonsense. I feel like, is that what I said? A classic gaming brother. Is that, is that not what I said? I'm very drunk, Seth. So I'm very sorry. I don't remember. Yeah. But cl it's classic gaming brothers. I'm gonna put a, a link down in the, the downstairs area. Well, so. Maybe he's correcting with brother single or brothers plural. Oh, brother. It's just one brother. But there's yeah. two people. Maybe it's just like Super Mario Bro. And it's, it's a guy, it's like he's got his, his hat side, it's like on the side flipped up, and he's got like a pop collar, so it's like Super Mario Bro. You get you get the joke I'm I'm making up there. I get it. I get it. All right. I'm not liking it, but I get it. Okay. Okay. I, I was right. It's Super Mario Bros. Um. So, <laughs> I made I made a joke today that I thought was pretty original. And I hadn't heard before, so I'm here we go. Here we but go. I, I I was talking with someone, and I'm like, man, I really, I really have the spirit of Halloween today, which means that just 95 percent of the time, and I'm, I'm a vacant building. You I saw the post earlier. What? I saw, oh, your I saw post. my post. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'd never heard that before. It just kind of popped out, and I thought it was pretty funny. Sometimes I think Sometimes of funny, funny jokes. Sometimes you're funny. It's I throw enough stuff at the wall, and it, some of, sometimes it sticks. Yeah, I think the only reason like bought the shots is fun is we've done so many fucking episodes of the show. Cool. So should we talk about the last thing? Yeah, should we do the last thing? Yeah. Should we do um, I uh the last thing. The last thing is this guy. Right, right her. This is how do you pronounce it? Quintesson. Is that the official pronunciation? I think so. Not not Quintesson? No. 
But you you watched a lot of Voltron. Voltron. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Because they because of quintessence. Oh, that's why that that I forgot that is a, that is a hundred percent why I want to pronounce it that way. <laughs> Before we do this, though, we owe Tony a shot. We do. I'm just, I'm just pulling the pieces out. Yeah, the head, it, the head it, came it, off, and there's like a bonus gun in here or something. What? Oh, yes, like, there's a bonus gun. My I don't know. My I don't know. Rubber bands. Uh, I find the best way to deal with rubber bands is toenail or fingernail clippers. Yeah, I have Tony. I have fingernail clippers. I also have these like tiny scissors. I have um my cat's nail trimmers too. Nice. I'm just throwing the rubber bands on the ground. I am not, because I have a cat that has pica. Oh right. Your cat will just fucking eat everything. Fucking yeah, it will. Uh, your cat has Pikachu. And I didn't choose that. I wouldn't I would rather not have that. It's very expensive. Especially because that cat is like super cool. Otherwise, your cat's okay. He's pretty cool. I actually never met your cat, so I'm sure your cat's pretty cool. He does a lot of weird stuff that's really charming. Like cats do weird stuff. That's like half the fun of being a cat. Well, like, like he after he, he got some surgery done, he does this thing where he stretches out his back legs all the way when yeah. he lays down. So he's like super lounging at you all crazy. Super he's Lounge a, Brothers. Hey, he's a cool guy. Cool guy. I'm, ex I'm exploiting the gimmick, Michael. How, how does it work? There's a little button on the on oh, the back. Give T. Oh, Give T. Give T. I mad respect that some of these jaws are posable. That's yeah, rad. Yeah, some of them open, right? Yeah, it's cool. Not all of them, though, but it looks like they should. So, note to the players at home, this is our first time playing with the Quintesson. We haven't yeah, seen we've it. Never, we've never messed with this before. Which so, one's, Which face is your favorite? Um, I think I like... Uh, it's this one, right? This is my favorite, yeah. As, I think that's the death face. Number two? Who's your number two? I think mine's actually Chunky Lips. Right next to it. Oh, mine is the orange guy. Okay. Looks like we have to break up now. That's right. See ya. It was fun to get out. It's the rules with Quintesson. So you have yep. to break up if you don't like the same face gimmick. That's right. So he's he's basically an egg with faces and tentacles. The tentacles on this were totally remind me of like G.I. Joe, like I said, like the movie Globulus whatever kind of like weird weapon stuff. I feel like you're having a fixation on that right now and everything is reminding you of it. I feel like we just did a whole cup quote and you didn't even realize it. Oh. Everything reminds you of something else. Everything reminds you of something else. <laughs> tell, tell, tell Grandma about Petrol Rapids. <laughs> Are you dead inside yet? Like a little uh, bit? Ryan Abreu has to, has to go. Really, uh, he's not going to harass us with games at the end he, of it. He's also, uh, he's he's also plugging Bizarre Bazaar, which is a thing he does once a month. Um, isn't, he, Bizarre Bizarre, isn't Bizarre Bazaar an ICP album? Yes, it is. Yeah, fucking magnets. How do they work? How do they work? We love you too, Ryan. Do we though? I mean, I guess okay, trans. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. Brad, Ryan, I'm pretty sure it is an ICP album. It is. Or it's like a series of albums. I'm looking. I dropped his uh, his throne on the ground somewhere, and I can't find it. But I did find a toenail that I clipped earlier. Sweet. That's basically that the same thing, right? Save that for the toenail fairy. Do you put them under your, your pillow, too? Yeah. Isn't that what we all were told to do as children? Oh, I found it. So how does this – this is like – so this is like a uh, – a, the transformer part of this is it transforms into 
a playset, right? Yeah, right. So it, it you don't have to though. You can it can just sit in your collection like this. <laughs> no, I think the difference is between this and the the retail one is the colors are slightly different. Yeah, I think I think it, instead of gray, it's silver. Yeah, and I think the the chair is green. But and the he, molding and the faces are all the same. Yeah. Wait, should we do Tony's shop before we do this? Oh fuck, yes, we should. And it is an ICP album, Ryan. You don't even fucking know what you're talking about. Uh, Ryan says he verified it, and that just sucks. That just shows you the quality in, in which Ryan's services are worth. Wait, did, wait, did he verify it? He said he says it, but oh, yeah, he can crack his computer. Right? So that, Paul, Paul, Paul has so. Fun fact, uh, Paul, at home about I've actually seen ICP live once. Did you high go school. to a Juggalo con? No, well, sort of. I mean, when I was in high school, my buddy How Alan so far today, by the way. Yeah, my buddy Alan was super into ICP, and he was trying to drag us all on this trip. So he bought us concerts to see him in San Diego, and I had only known like. Uh, a couple ICP songs at the time. The only one I liked was Eminem and nothing but a bitch because I hated Eminem a lot at the time. I still do, but especially then. And when, so he took us to see the show and they sprayed Figo root beer at us all night. They did actually perform Eminem and nothing but a bitch, which is great. I don't remember anything else about that concert. Say, say what you will about Juggalos. Um, first of all, their naming scheme is uh, awesome. Yeah. Number two, Figo is actually pretty good. And also, uh, let's say they have done some cool stuff about how they used to talk about like gay stuff. Like they've actually pulled back on a lot of it and done, got a cool like. They they become more them. accepting. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, yeah. people pay money. You got you got to yeah. accept people to pay money for your cult. There you go, though. So Paul can uh, he he can he gives you props for your mad ninja juggalo knowledge. It isn't super mad, but I have some basic juggalo knowledge, and I have so seen two level juggle juggle juggalologist. I think when I saw them live, it was them and Twisted and Blaze. Twisted is a band I've heard of. Yeah. And it Blaze, you dead homie. That's the name of the band? Yeah, no, it's, it's a one guy. I think it's oh, Blaze. It's you Blaze, comma, you dead, dead homie. homie. Yeah, right. he's you dead homie. But I don't know if there's actually a comma in the name thing. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Good, good story. So wait, so what are we drinking? We're are drinking, we drinking our normal drink. Like a half or a full? What are we doing? Oh, full. He gave us two. He added up to at least 20 bucks in there. I'm totes gonna have to pee after this show. I have to I have to scroll back up to his last. Here we go. I believe this was Tony. Okay. You can't stop. He can't stop. Speaking of can't stop, after the stop. After the shot, I have to go pee real quick, but then I'll yeah. write it down. We'll take a short break after the shot. It's I fine. just gotta pee. I just gotta pee. And I'm, and I'm yeah, back in the game. Clinkies. I hate you, Tony. <coughs> While well, um, Zach is away, for anyone watching right now, if you notice a little kind of weird symbol next to Tony's name, Tony is a supporter. He's a channel supporter membership. He's a channel channel member. It's the cost of dollar. If if you do that, you get a cool little thing next to your name. Sometimes I post some um, membership exclusive shit. Not often, but sometimes. But you also get some fun little mic emojis that you can do. Uh, Again, you don't you don't fucking have to. They look like this. I just posted it in chat right now. So if that's something you want to do, cool. If it's uh, not something you want to do, that's cool too. I honestly don't care. But sometimes people like having the the extra stuff. So you could tell I'm not a very good marketer of my YouTube channel because I should be talking a lot more positively about this stuff but um i don't because i i just i'm a guy i'm just a guy with too many toys and uh 
outgoing personality when it suits me. And um, if the truth be told, you guys, Zach's gone, so I'm just I'm filling time. The truth be told, I used I used to review my Power of the Force two Star Wars toys to nobody in my room. I would act like I was on a TV show in my room talking about my Star Wars. I had a shelf, a big metal shelf, and I had lined up all my Power of the Force 2. Those are the 90 Star Wars toys, the 3.35 inch ones. I had, them, I had them. This is how lightly autistic I am. And that's not a dig on autistic people. I am. I feel like I really am because like I had them all organized alphabetically by movie. Uh so I like like their name is alphabetized, but they were organized by movie. Uh, and I would I would pick one up and I would like do a little like weird review and then put it back down and pick another one up and that would, that's like a thing I would do to amuse myself in my room by myself. So um, that's that's just that's me. That's how I actually kind of started this. And then I. Uh, when I was making my, my channel, I had a channel and I was like, people, people watch reviews. I passed my time watching reviews and I felt like I could do it too. I don't know. So I just wanted to do it. Um, and then, you know, I'd watch like Glenn Webb and people like that. And they kind of influenced me for sure. Theo, Glenn Webb influenced me. Toy Galaxies influenced me for sure. I don't think Dan watches, uh, bots and shots but if if he did like th those are my my personal influencers people i've changed what i do and copied a little bit i don't want to bite off their style but like i see little things that i like and i kind of pluck them up and that's what i do here so but it's for me it's um it's just about expressing my knowledge and what i love to do and i love toys and i feel like none of my at the time none of my my friends liked toys the way I did at the time. Um, so the internet was a great way to express that. And here is Zach. Zachary is back. So real quick side note. Tirsa is watching uh, the British Bake Off uh, in the other room. Lily's watching the British Bake Off. At the same time? Yeah. That's, That's so great. Funny. So I will. So they were saying when I was in there saying hi to her real quick, uh, they said shrimps. I feel like shrimps is not the correct plural. It should just it's be shrimp, shrimp, right? Shrimp. Same with meat. Whenever I see meats, I'm like, you should just say meat. I feel like I got this pile of meat. I've, I yeah. got this pile you of don't meat. Say meats. Well, it's just yeah. like fish. It's it's not fishes. It's just fish. <laughs> yeah, I like, feel like it's unnecessary. Fish is so fish. Yeah, but I feel so, like I do feel like because Great British Big Off is obviously English, and mm -hmm. their English is different from our English. <laughs> but no, no, meats and shrimps are valid here. It's just, man, fuck you, Tony. Fuck you, bro. Okay. okay. So here's the th here's I'm just I'm putting a kibosh on this. This is this is it. This oh. is the last one. This but, is the half shot. Yeah. We're not we're not doing any more after that. Okay. Mike Mike's older than me. He 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 has playground rules on this one. I did, Lily, because yeah. Oh, you were watching Great British Bake Off earlier. Tears is watching Great British Bake Off. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, right now, she's currently watching it. Uh, Marvel and DC three seven nine says he will <laughs> buy every toy out there, but his wallet won't let him. I one hundred percent like I understand that statement in my heart. Yeah. I'm glad that I'm a character collector for the most part. It prohibits me from jumping too much into too much cool shit that I can't afford. 100%. So right now what's what's stopping me weirdly is not money, it's shelf space, but it's also well, money. I'm not yeah. saying it's not money, but like it's more shelf space and storage well, than it is well, money. It's like money is always a problem to say oh, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like money's always a problem with like yeah. starving and car problems and whatever. Sure. Yeah. But what's stopping you from doing this other thing is this other thing. Yes. Yeah, I get so so like money is always a barrier to buying like every toy in the toy aisle. But right oh, now, yeah. mostly like if I did buy it, where the fuck would I put it? See, my problem is rather than I, I have like these and other nerd shit, but I also collect like vinyl records, CDs, and instruments that I use. So like my money is like everywhere all of the time. Right. And it and it sucks and I hate it, but for sure. 
My girlfriend has the same problem, just with other stuff. Yep. Our, our collection is stupid. Well, it's it's cool. Like, so your girlfriend collects toys not on the same level that you do, but she has her collection. Yeah, we 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 have an art toy collection, and she yeah. has. Her, she's a super berserk mega fan. Oh so, yeah, I don't know anyone that likes berserk as much as your girlfriend. Yeah. So she has like everything berserk related that she could possibly. Is, is, an, is there a new anime coming out or a manga or something? The manga is continuing. They okay. just had this weird, like, new beginning thing or okay. whatever. But I have no idea what the fuck it is. I only read them when she buys the physical volumes of it because right. I don't. And I'm not a fan enough to go crazy online for the new translations. But she's a maniac all right. the time. Uh, Bullwinkle is actually pretty true. Uh, there was a point I did a, a live stream last Saturday, and I had like four much bigger channels than me on it, like in the chat. And I was, I, I had no idea what to do with myself, but not only that, I don't know if anyone knows this, but last Saturday when I was recording that, I was high as fuck. Like nice. <laughs> I was, I was trying to keep it together so that like nobody fucking knows that I was super high, but I was like way high. Was and, it like a like, like, and super sorrel and like fuck it, I don't even remember who else, but like there were a bunch of like really big names in my chat, and I'm like, this is rad. Was it like a Star Wars chat and stuff? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was just like a normal live stream. Um, like mm -hmm. oh, like usual Mike was there. Like yeah, um, it was Art. Uh, Art G was like it was like, like, like it was more Star Wars YouTubers, but like uh, for sure, it was it was crazy. It was a lot of fun. So Lily says no more shots that I have to function tomorrow. And that's true. Uh, so I, before we, because we haven't actually done this guy. Yet, the thing that we're doing. The thing. This is how, this is how the, the tangents work. We, we, yeah. we start talking about it and then something happens and we stop. But one of the things I, I have to do tomorrow is uh, Lily and I are going to the store to stock up on like at least a month's worth of food. Just in case, like shit goes crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, the, yeah. Because, you know, we're, we're gonna get we're, toilet paper, oh, or not just the election, but like with with the road kind of ramping up again. Um, yeah. If in case there's like another shutdown or something stupid like that, like like we're just gonna go tomorrow and we're stocking up on like toilet paper and meats and canned goods and pasta mm -hmm. and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna freeze up. We're gonna freeze some hamburger and some chicken. And we're just gonna we're gonna leave it in the freezer for when we need it. So you know we don't have to eat each other or the cat for sustenance. Would you eat her or the cat first? The cat. Well, the cat. The brave words, brave words, brave yeah. words. I don't know if Lily would make have you make that choice. I feel like she would sacrifice herself. I feel like she would if like we got into that situation, I would lose that fight. Yeah, I feel like she would sacrifice herself before the cat. No, no, no. It's not that like Oh, her and the cat would eat you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll back her up. I'll join in. So fuck, fuck me. I don't want to get like super political, but the, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. No. But I feel like if he if he does, I feel like things are going to get crazy. If he doesn't, I feel like things are going to get crazy. Like I, I feel like either way, whatever your leaning is, things are going to get crazy. That's mm -hmm. all. And I just want to be, I want to be prepared for it. I got to, I see my, my eyebrows fucking yeah. up. So I got to get that your, eye, your eyebrows are fucking up, Kim Kardashian? What the fuck are you talking They're about? They're on fleek. Thank my you. My eyebrows? My <laughs> eyebrows are super great. Do you have crazy long eyebrows? Yes. I have I to put them back. In fact, uh, Prime Day just oh. happened and I bought, I bought trimmers. Here so you I go. Look, I can trim it back. I'm Right now, I'm holding one of my eyebrow hairs. I right would, mine get crazy long. Like, yeah, mine gets super stupid. I'll get one that gets up to like here or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Mine are like happens. My glasses, like right here, I get like smudge, like oily smudges on them because of my eyebrows. So that's just a that's a fun fact about me. I don't wear glasses every day, but when I do, my eyebrows don't wear. But my eyebrows try to like bend into my eye. That's a different. That's a different story altogether. It's been. I'm gonna say real quick. Side note to that Trump comment. Yeah. I I studied history in college. Yeah. Uh, particularly uh, Cold War to modern politics. 
So this has definitely been an interesting time for me and and John. You know, who you know, John Rolf. Yeah, we, I didn't know. yeah, we went to school for the same thing. So it's definitely a weird time for us, like having called all this beforehand and like yeah. still missing him. Like, yeah, yeah, we could talk a lot about this stuff, but a lot of people don't want to hear like what can really happen with stuff. Yeah. But also, the thing that you always got to remember about everything is emerging technologies win over everything. So. Yeah. It's hard to gauge the turnout of whatever the fuck's going on because you have no idea what emerging technological base is kind of governing it at the time. So right now we're in a weird like internet meme spiral. True. But it's a it's weird because we've been weird. in it long enough now that people are kind of becoming like neutral to the whole experience. Well, so you know you know what's weird about internet memes? Like let's say, like back in two thousand six, I was a four channel. Like I was, I was on 4chan and Scum. Like, I know, but like back then it was different. It was like super underground and like memes weren't a thing back then, but they, they were for me. Cause I was, I was like into 4chan and I knew what memes were. Although I think I called them memes at the time. Cause I didn't, like, no one knew how it was pronounced. Um, but like since then memes have become mainstream, 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 main, main meme stream. Mainstream. Like memes went from being that like I remember the underground memes that you would do back in the day, like um fucking I don't know, there's there's a bunch of bullshit memes back that when I was into it. Long cats long, like they're all superfluous and nobody <laughs> cared. Now like all that's leaked out and like everything is a meme. Like it it went from uh first of all, uh M3 reviews is in the chat. Uh it made me approve his comments. I don't think it'll show up in my thing, so I can't put it up. But M3 Reviews, what's up, bro? Um, anyways, like it's so weird to me now that memes are like something my grandma would share because they're on Facebook. Whereas like when they started, I remember them being like the super underground thing that nobody like nobody was in on except for the, the cool underground people. Yeah. Dude, you're not fuck man, you're not mean. You're good, man. Yeah. It's cool. Everyone has their bent about it. Everyone's in different age groups yeah. the experience. We're both we're both in California. We're both in that side of the stream. Yeah. 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 We both live like we live like right down the street from each other. Yeah. Uh anyways, should we uh should we do this transformer? Do the transformer thing before we get crazy. Yeah, so let's let's this is the last bot of the stream, just so everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Last bot. So he has a throne. It comes off. I think it, it actually, what it does is it, it plugs into all the different little ramp things. Yeah. Totally. So, because like what? Optimus Prime's trailer, all the little uh, armor bot things, they all have these, these little these little plug things. So yeah. it, what this turns into, because obviously like quintessence didn't turn into things. They weren't transformers. Quintessence. That's, what quintessence. What <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Quintessence. That's what I said. But, but the whole point is like in the original co like continuity anyway, they, they made the transformers, right? Sure. Until they did a bunch of continuities, but in one of them they made the transformers, but they weren't transformers. Like they didn't transform. Yeah. Okay. Right? But being in the transformers line, they were like, "How how can we make this transform?" Yeah. Uh, I like I like that they gave it a little like energy energy effect. I almost dropped this in my in my drink. Okay. Cool. It does come off. Yeah, it pops right off. And to get it on, you have to like oh, you have to, you have to pull it down. Down, and plug it in. Lever down here. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think this comes out like this. Yeah. 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 And why do you you like unplug it, right? Yeah. And this is like a cage. Can you put Kranix in that you cage? Can put you can put Kranix in it. Yeah. I think it splits in half. Yeah, it splits open like this. I just shoved him between the yeah, bars. I, I don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> it's not a very good jail. <laughs> you don't escape this. I don't know. Here's my critics. <laughs> like he just fits right in. You don't even have to open it up. 
Yeah. Look, he's, 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 this is a terrible jail. Is this sexual? Am I doing anything sexual? Everything sexual if you need it to be sexual. Is this, are you, Mike, are you turned on? Yep. Huh? Yes. The answer is yes. Huh? Huh? Oh. oh. Yep. You got it. Okay. You were so turned on right now. I, yeah, I told you. I know. It was pretty rad. I'm glad you gave me that positive affirmation. So now it's just this like hole. Yeah. Oh, so do you flip up the head? Yeah. Up the heads? Okay. Basically, what happens now is that all the sides, the, the heads go up and all the sides come down. So it becomes like a base like this. And then this combines into this. I'm like super afraid of breaking this right now. I feel like these sounds of it unsnapping are so perilous. I'm not gonna lie. It's yeah. pretty terrifying. So this this is what it turns into. Is that the guy? This is the guy. Wait, I, I gotta snap my piece. Wait, where does the round piece go? Uh it it's got on the bottom, it's got whole like no, 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 the dome. Where does the dome oh. go? I think it just sits on top. This or is, this is stupid. Does there another thing that happens? So the bottom of this thing right here has a has two circles. And it clips into that. And then and then you throw it on the ground. It seems like a good process. And then it sits on the top. In between all the heads, like that, I think. This is way stupid. So, and that's and that's the thing. Yes, this is stupid. This is really dumb. This is the but, dumbest toy ever. But, 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 you don't ever have to do it. But I'm gonna. But you don't have to, is my point. I feel like I do. There's instructions that are telling me to do it. But, like, if you never wanted to again, like, you don't have to. This toy is pretty dumb. In this format. It's cool for what it's supposed to be. Uh, hold. Fuck, man, you can give the show money. There's super chats. Just know that if you do super chat, I've cut off the shots. Uh, Tony has got the last half shot in, and that's it. <laughs> Mike doesn't want to die. Uh, we've already we've already done basically as many shots as we usually do on a normal night. And I have to function tomorrow. And I'm drinking an alcoholic beverage on top of that. You're an adult now. That's true. I don't I, I lost the little blue thing. His little uh, floaty sparks? His little floaty thing. Now I almost because the colors aren't right. Yeah. Want to buy the original. Yeah. But I have the Impossible Toys version. Should I pull that out? For yeah, pull, pull out that. Why not? Why not? I think it's over there, somewhere in that pile. Didn't I do so, the uh, the Sharky on like the first or second episode? Yes, you did. So what you you can do with this is. Pull off all this plastic bullshit like that. And just fucking go to town. You, you just have this. You just have you just have this, and you can put them all on here, and it could be a fun little diorama if you want it to be. It is cardboard. It's it's cardboard, but like it's kind of it's kind of fun. I don't know. It looks it looks pretty good. So. Anyway, here here is a fun piece of my history. This is the Impossible Toys. Yeah, and that one doesn't transform at all. No, no. And I bought this at my first BotCon in like 2009, I want to say, for like 20 or 30, like 30 bucks, I want to say. How many BotCons have you been to? I went to 2009, 11, 9, 11, no, 9, 11, and then. You can't forget. And then you and I went to 
13 and 14? No, no, we, we no. Yes. 14. It was 14. It was 14. And then we went to two bot cons together though. We went to we went to uh Pat- no, we, we, so oh you're right. We went to we oh we did go to 13. Uh and, and then 14 was the one where we went where we're like because that was the one in Pasadena where we're, we're like we're gonna blow big money on a third party bot. Yes. So uh, yeah, this thing this thing used to light up if you press this button and it has these little pokey things on top. But uh yeah, this is from my my first bot con ever in 2009. I went by myself because my ex-girlfriend was like, I don't want to go to that stupid bullshit with you. And I was like, okay. Right up. Right up. We go to Frankenstein's Sons a, a lot. Well, not a lot, but we've been... Oh, you've seen them. You've seen the vids. I've been in the vids. Oh, you're answering a question. Yeah. You eating pizza? I just dropped pizza. You... Did you ever find a blue piece? No. It's with the pizza. I found the pizza. But the blue piece is gone forever. I ate it. It's kind of cool. Dude, uh, first of all, M3, next time you go to, you're thinking about going to Frankenstein, like hit me up. Wait, okay, go. real quick. Yeah. Did you have this little gun? That yes, came with I did. What is it for? Does it does he does he use it like in the show like when he uses no. the gun? It's, no, it's literally just. I think it's just a gun. But no, it, no, I, like, I think it's in the show. I think he it uses plugs the into these little. It plugs into these little these little guys. Yeah, no, I think it's from the actual cartoon show. Like, an oh, it, it might be when he's like when 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 like Ultra Magnus and Cyclonus are in the alternate dimension or whatever, and one of them right. is threatening him. Yeah, it's probably from that. But yeah, when it plugs into his it plugs into his little tentacles. But has a handle for other reasons. Sorry, I'm drunk and I got excited by that whole fact. Absolutely, you got excited by little little toy little toy buzzies, huh? Hey boys. Hey boys. So we have to do our last half shot. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to forget about it. Speaking of hey boys, the new Public Enemy album is fire. Is it? Is it fire? Like it. It's it's fun. I like it. The. Uh, the Fight the Power 2020 remix is unfortunately still relevant in this time. It is unfortunate. That's doing, a, that's our, a last half, our last halfy. Our last halfy. Wait. I, I, I over poured and then I under poured. And then I. I kind of over poured too, to be honest with you. That's good. I need this quick, this quick pre chaser. Yes, Tony, you are cut off, and so are we. But happy Halloween, everybody! Yeah, it is. It is a happy. No, no, it's not happy Halloween for us yet. No, we still have 45 more minutes or so, but happy Halloweeny. Show us your Halloweenies. Yes. You know it's my mom's birthday? You're on Halloween? Mm-hmm. Is she starborn? I don't know what that means. I don't you believe in that. That's in files? What? I don't know if she is starborn, though. Oh, okay. I don't know if she is. I have to, I, I have to research her birth date with it. Gotcha. Right. Have you Have you started – have you started uh, – uh, Battlefront or Battle Battlefield yet or whatever? Not Battlefront, the Star Wars. Yeah. No, no, I haven't. I haven't started yet. I, I'm finishing another book and I'm almost done. And All I right, be starting the new Dresden this weekend. All right, clinkity. Clink. Uh, that's true. <sighs> what is true? It's a blue moon. It's a full moon. It's Halloween. Yeah. It's daylight savings time. Yeah. And it's daylight savings time tomorrow, so we get an extra hour. Also, out of the basement's up. What's up out of the basement? How's it going? They got Halloween for Halloween. I got COVID for Halloween. Yeah. I, got, I got Halloween for COVID. I'm drunk. You got Halloween for COVID? I got Halloween for COVID. 
I didn't know. I didn't know how the Christians were going to find a way to steal Halloween from us goths, but they, oh, found, they a way. found a way. They found a way. This is my. Even though I'm blonde, I'm a goth. I'm a goth kid. I'm a whiny goth bitch. Even though That's my true. girlfriend, like, and, and Tirsa is physically a goth, but not a goth. She's right. a dark lady. She's, she's visually a goth. Yeah, she's a dark lady. Right. But I, I listen to all the queeny goth music. I know who I am. Yeah, you're like a goth on the inside. Mm-hmm. She's a goth on the outside. Well, both my parents had dark hair and dark eyes, so I think this was a sign of the end times that I was born not of them. Right. So um, Charles brings up a good point. Um, people that thought emo was goth. So my explanation for that is a joke, but it's probably true. Is emo, you hate yourself. Goth, you hate everyone else. That's 100% true. Yeah. Yeah. That is it's basically where the difference lies. <laughs> and three of you says he's Marilyn Manson's best friend or boyfriend. Either way. Um I want to, if he said BFF, it's best friend. But if yeah. it's BFF, it's just boyfriend. It's boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's boyfriend. Um, yeah. So I was never a Marilyn Manson kid. Yeah, we had like a little Marilyn Manson block at my work because uh, I don't know. I, just, I, I reported it. Was, it wasn't me, it was my boss. He put on the Marilyn Manson cover of This Is Halloween, and then it kind of just devolved into a, a bunch of his other hits, and it was a lot of fun. That's weird. I never liked Marilyn Manson a lot. I, I like him. I like him. I like the one album, the Mechanical Animals album. That's about it. That's as far as I go. That's as far as I get. Sure. I like his hits. I'm not like a, for me, he's not like a discography Mm. artist, but he's a greatest hits artist that I would, I would keep in my, in your heart. Yeah. So like for me, it's like, it's like the Beatles for me is a discography. I feel like every, every album they've ever made has great, great songs on it that you should have in your collection. But like Rolling Stones is greatest hits. Like they have a ton of albums, but not every album is something I feel like you have to have in your collection. Like that that's the kind of way I see it. Like for you, probably KMFDM is like a greatest like a, like a discography. Like you have to own it's, it's, it's an anytime band, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like like it's yeah. is the difference between you have to own every album they own they, they've made or you yeah. know is having their greatest hits. It, I mean, it's one of the, like I, it's weird for me to say because like as much as I have this many Transformers, I have more CDs and vinyl than this. Like I have like a, an insane music collection, and it's weird. It's usually weird. It's usually weird stuff. But yeah, I don't know. It's just it's different different strokes and different folks. It's definitely weird being a music nerd and a toy nerd at the same time. Because other than like Jim Simonic, those worlds don't really collide very often. Man, Jim's great. I love Jim. Jim's the Jim, coolest. I, I want Jim to be on a bots and shots like this. I know. We we sh- I know he's Pennsylvania time, but we yeah. we, we, we should try to talk about I feel him. like if we did a bots and shots at like six or seven PM, like he could be on it. Yeah, even like a special episode where we just yeah. did like a few shots. Cause I, I don't know. You well know, like this. Like we could just do like one or two shots or just drink. And and talk about stuff. And the answer to all these questions, there is a kitty on this chair. He's he was right here the whole time. I like your kitty's Hitler mustache. He's cool. He's got a little splotchy mustache situation yeah. going on. Your kitty is so cute. He's kind of a cunt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie about it. He, <laughs> like. If you told us, if you told us, uh, (laughs) gun to your head, which of the two cats would you keep if one of them has to die? I would definitely choose the tux over that guy. Which one? What's the other one's name? That one I just held is Barnaby, Barnaby Jones, and the other one is Xander Cruz. You know what's funny is I can remember Tux No Problem, but not Barnaby, but but. My Tux grandma, is not, my is, Nana. Not Tux's name. Tux's name is Xander Cruz. But Tux. You can call him Tux, but his name is Xander. I him Tux forever. But, Although, but growing up, my Nana had two cats. My my dad's mom had two cats. And um one was Barnaby, one was Penelope. Like those were those were like my cats growing up that like those are the cats I knew. But for some reason I can't fucking remember your Barnaby's name no matter even what. Though, even though you have a Barnaby in your history. 
Yes. Yeah. The best part is is that uh, the Tux is the Pika one, but he was the one we would not get rid of if we had a choice. No, he's the troublesome one. Well, no, he's troublesome with that, but yeah. he's like the sweetest fucking cat. Like, he's a cat who loves belly rubs. Like yeah. a dog. Our like, cat loves belly rubs. He flops over and lets, yeah. you, lets you have at it. Our little uh, Lily, well, yes, Lily does love belly rubs, but Callie loves belly rubs. She does love belly rubs. She really does. I know about everyone's channel, Fugman Four. Everyone's channel. I'm just a normal fucking YouTuber, just like everybody else. Did, a, I didn't that, actually mean that to be that harsh. I'm just saying that I, I'm it all. Did, it, did, it did sound like a lot, a lot of harsh criticism there. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually mean it that way. I, I realized how it sounded after it, but like I didn't actually mean it that harshly. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of out of the basement. I'm a fan of unusual Mike. I'm a fan of Greg cook. I'm a fan of all these like star Wars YouTubers. Cause I'm also just a person. I wish I cared about star Wars more. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad you don't, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm glad that like you like something I like, but I also like things that you don't like. And you kind of like things that I don't super like. Like you don't hate Star Wars. Like there's Star Wars no. you like, and I don't. No, hate, like, I, I, metal, I love it. metal. I like. So like we we kind of have some. No. Yeah, I've loved Star Wars growing up. I'm like yeah. I, I was a huge fan all through the '90s. I just kind of lost traction somewhere in the 2000s and just never got it back. Like I just, it's the same way how uh, I was with uh, like X Men comics. Like I was the hugest fan growing up, and then somewhere I just lost traction in the 2000s and just never. Never got back to it. Don't hate it. Don't care. Yeah. But just lost traction. I just, I, so I, I, I want to take a moment and say that there's, there's some chat. I've got two chat windows open, one here, okay. one here. This is like actual YouTube chat right here that I have to like approve comments and shit. And Lily's also in there approving comments. This is like the StreamYard bullshit that sometimes, like, it'll put from here after a few minutes and put it over here. Yeah. Um, but approved comments, I can't put on the screen because I can only put a like the ones that show up in StreamYard on stream. Right. And if I have to approve it, it doesn't show up in StreamYard. But there's so many comments of people talking about like cats and like pussy, but it's cats <laughs> and it's it's like flagging it so I can't put it on the screen. It's really kind of funny. I always like the idea of, of like the whole adaptive language thing. Yeah. About pussy. We're like, because like pussy comes from pusillanimous, which means yeah. cowardly. But since cats run away, they got called pussy cats. But then because vaginas have hair, they're called pussies because of cats or something. Yeah. So it's like this transitive like it's, language yeah. shift. It's but, like an evolutionary uh, etymology. Yeah. So like calling someone a pussy because they're cowardly does not apply to vaginas. But like people take it a lot, so it's like right. a, it's the whole Eng English is a living language thing, so it like adapts like to whatever version of it is currently active. Yeah. So this is my this is my one like fun fact that I'm sharing in this live stream. You uh, have. A vagina. And I know Lily knows this because Lily fucking knows everything about Shakespeare and vaginas. But the play "Much Much Ado About Nothing" is actually about. Like nothing is slang for vagina, when when Shakespeare wrote that play, so the it's actually like much much ado about vagina, much ado about humping. Yeah, basically is what it, yeah. is what it was about. Um, but like nothing was slang for vagina when he wrote that. I just, I find that fascinating right now as I am drunk, as you are drunk. Yes, as you, as, as you alone are drunk in this moment. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. my my wife doesn't have to approve what I see. My wife is a moderator in my chat and YouTube blinks a bunch of shit out. So she she is in the chat approving stuff, but it for whatever reason StreamYard, which is what we're using to stream these things together, doesn't anything that has to be approved, they just don't show on the thing, so I can't pop it up on my screen. It's probably a smart choice on their part not to like Yeah, I, I get what they're doing. Like anything vaguely flagged because yeah. we'll have all kinds of weird shit going on there. But I, yeah. can put this, I can put all these on here because they're just like fucking. 
She does control everything about your relationship. Yeah, Lily, she she kind of does. I'll be honest. And it's okay. Lily with one with with two L's, not three. If we're being honest, it's, well, it's yeah, it's it's two. L-I-L-Y, right? I was gonna say one L also, but then you yeah, realize yeah. It's, it is two L's. There are L's. two L's. Yeah, yeah. There's just two yeah. L's in the situation. What I love is seeing how many people spell my name my name differently. Well, yeah, there's Z A C H, Z A C K, Z A K, Z A C, Z A H K. I wish that someone would do the Z A Q Z A Q U E, like Zach. Oh, please change your name to Z A Q U E. When I went to a like a Starbucks once, they were just like, "What's your name, Zach? Like, how is it spelled? Like, it doesn't matter." And they're like, "No, how is it spelled?" And I was like, Z A Q U E. And they actually took the time to be shitty about the whole process. Z A Q U E. Oh, man. All right. Um, we're out of Transformers to talk about. I mean, yeah, I yeah. suppose we are out of it. I mean, up the box set. So, how? Wait, wait. How did you feel about the box set? That's a great question. Thank you. Good, 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 good wrap up of the whole situation. I know we spent two hours yeah. talking about some bullshit, and people yeah. we talk people into like we're doing a regular episode. Yeah. And only, only because Tony's a monster did we actually do the episode. That's like, actually like, fucking true. Tony is a monster. Yeah, Tony actually prompted us to be what the show is supposed to be. Yeah. So fuck you and or I feel, thank like, you I feel like that makes Tony our mascot. He almost, it's like the, he's our child. He's our, we gave birth to him. That's true. He is, we are, we are his yeah. dad. Yeah. Toast and Toys is our, is our child. Yes. We did the show, we, we spawned them. So we have only them to blame for their 13 year old rebuttals at how we live our lives versus how they live their lives. That's Even true. Though he's older than us and actually has children who have children. Yeah, and he's a granddad now, and we're like yeah. over here in our thirties, going like, "We're never gonna have kids." Hey, Gra- hey, Grandpa Tony, we're gonna tell you how to do the show. My cats are over there fighting, and it is ridiculous. I, I lost. I lost. Oh, here's the dome. So, a wrap up. How do you feel about the set? Do you feel like you got your money's worth from the set? Well, so kind of, kind of, kind of for 70 bucks. Take in mind, if you hadn't bought this set and you would right. just, if the set had never existed and you would have just bought a Quintesson and an Alicon on their own, it's $50. True. Yeah. So, Basically, is it worth the extra twenty bucks for the Sharkticon, the the cardboard, and the the two little guys? Yeah, I would say yes because if you told me a third party company was like, "Hey, we made a little a, a little Cranix and a prosecutor for your uh, Quintesson and Alicon." Quintesson. Why can you not say Quintesson? I'm, I'm saying it exactly how you say it. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying I'm not saying it any different from how you say it. All right. All right. All right. Anyway. Uh, anyways, I'm saying it that way to to, to bug you. But I also, know, and I'm drunk enough. Also, I'm drunk. Uh, I'm drunk anyways, I feel like I feel like they would actually probably charge more than twenty dollars. For this and the 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 prosecutor guy, and I mean, say nothing else about an extra gnaw, which was a ten dollar figure by itself. Do you feel at all gypped that they kind of like kind of skimped on Peyton for this with the Quintesson? I feel like the only thing with the Quintesson that's different is that it's shiny silver and a green thing as opposed to a gray thing and a gray thing on this one. I feel like this is more cartoon accurate. Like, do you care enough to buy another figure because it it has more like shiny metallic paint versus the other? I honestly have no interest in buying a regular uh, uh, Quintesson. Quintesson. 
Quintesson, a, a, quint a Quintessonian. Yeah. I, I honestly, I have no, if I saw one on the shelf, I'd be like, eh, pass. Because yeah. I already, I basically I already have it. I don't care about the, the silvery color. Like, I'm fine with this. Now, the Bailiff versus the Alicon, I'm a little different on. Because there's enough differences there to where, like, I, I need, if I had just had the Bailiff, which I did, I had the Bailiff, and I'm like, I need the Alicon. Because I need I need the regular version of that. I don't. I don't. Hold on. Yeah, wait. I have to put that on screen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> we need this in our lives. <laughs> oh um, no! I, I have I have no. Like, I don't care about the the dip the the color differences between this and the retail release one but for the other one the alicon it's a it's not just a color difference it's a, it's a complete molding difference the head sculpt which is a bigger part for me is completely different and i'm used to the way the the retail one looks because that's the one where you know cup is trying to give them the the thing and that's what i want because right. up specifically the the movie cup coming out has that dispenser which is great I forgot I wore the shirt. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Bob which, Weaver on a uh, Weep Ninny Bong. Which is great because th this was the first T Fury, T Fury shirt I ever bought was this stupid shirt. So for me, I don't, I, I'm happy having this instead of the retail version, but I'm glad I have the Bailiff, but I needed the retail version of the Alicon. Yeah. I don't feel as bad because I have the one you have from the set, but I also have the Impossible Toys version, which is sure. kind of and that one is silver. 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 Which, yeah, which has the silver stuff and the silver. Oh, the light does work. I just Although, thought was... to be honest, I'm not a big fan of some of the faces on that. Oh yeah, no, no, it's totally shitty. It's totally like a shitty sculpt figure. Wait, hold on a second. I got I gotta see if this light actually works. I made it dark in here. I attacked the darkness. Michael, I made it dark in here. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's one of them of looks like he has a weird version of blackface. Is this Get Out? Is this what Get Out is? It's Get Out. I can't find the blue thing. I don't think you ever had the blue thing. I did. I don't think you did. Sorry I for the did. sudden jarring light change. The folks at home. Oh, I found it. M3 Reviews, wires. M3 Reviews claims that the Impossible Toys is a great piece. And it is definitely an okay piece. All I can say is I have three of the six metal spines on the top of the head left. I have no idea where the other three are. Uh, with the to of the respond to that, the, to respond to that, all I have to say is M three is a great piece. He is a great piece. I found, I found the, I found it. Where was it? It was, it was in the nest of wires under my Somehow desk. Lodged also, itself inside you. I also found the gun. Having the Quintesson hold the gun just makes me think of like a Kang and Kodos from Simpsons thing. Because it just looks weird with them holding a gun for some that reason. Or, yeah, for sure. Yeah, or like a Futurama reference of some kind. Yeah, the Futurama is what I thought of. Like maybe like a. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's really hard to get, get it in the little. In the hole, just the hole. aim hard. Just try, just try a little bit. I for, one, relax. for once in our love life, just try. I did just it. Cry. It's it's in there, and it's the dangling, floppy mess that it usually is. And then this goes right in there, and then this goes 
All upon the stool. Don't you think it looks like a training toilet, like for toddlers? Yes. I do. That was my first thought. All day and all of the night. Quintessons have to learn how to potty, too. Yeah, quintessons. The quintessons have to learn the quintessons. Um, my girl likes to potty all the time. Like during? Yep. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this thing does not want to stay on the chair. I'm just gonna say that. I that's why I put mine. I put mine down on my laptop. It, it's just sitting there. It does not want to stay on the chair. It, it's got to be like it should. It's got a, a plug. There's like two holes. Yeah. The there most, we go. Like most things, it's got two holes. You just. That's the that's the ones. That's the ones. Yeah, Marvel and DC. That's why I kept saying. That's why I keep saying it wrong because I have quintessence stuck in my head. Quintessence on the mind. I I just my my whole brain is quintessence. Mm -hmm. You got I got in my head. I got Reese Darby. I and wish I. You know, I haven't seen a lot of stand-up in my life, but one of the guys I have seen was Reese Darby doing stand-up. And that was pretty great. See, see you out of the basement. Bye, Justin. Anyways, I'm sorry. What were we saying about stand-up with Reese Darby? I did see Reese Darby in Orange County, of all places. I haven't seen that much stand-up in my life, but Reese Darby was one of the ones I've seen, and he's pretty great. Yeah. He's a clean comic, and I respect that. I mean, I'm not a clean guy, but he's clean when he does his comedy. I, I you know, I, I never knew who Reese Darby was until I saw Fly the Concord's TV show. Yeah, and that's what I knew him from. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like him. He was also in, so they did like a, a reboot of the X-Files. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was Guy Man. Yeah, and he, well, he was in the only good episode of that reboot. Oh, yeah, completely. Yeah, because oh, the other episodes were god awful. Well, and let's face facts: when you re when you look back at X Files, you realize yeah. funny episodes were the only actually good episodes. That's of very true. Like the Luke I Wilson, Nathan with the Lone Gunman were was good. The Luke Wilson black and white vampire episode, yes, is hands down one of the best episodes of that entire series. Yep, there was an episode with Jack Black on it when he was like in his twenties or like That's right, yeah. That uh, I remember that in Airborne, the rollerblade movie that I referenced. <laughs> I would say I would say the X Files number one completely overrated. Like it's not a bad show, but the only reason it's good is because there are some good episodes of it. If that yeah. makes sense. Yes. Yes. I feel like that that's how you can sum like summarize the Rolling Stones discography. Yeah, that's it's only good because there's some good songs in it. Correct. I can I can really agree with that. But you but it, if you ever actually take the time to listen to the albums on their own, you're just yeah. like it's not good. I would it's never good. say the Rolling Stones are a bad band. I would just say they're a band with some some very good songs. So there's like bands that are albums bands or yeah. single bands. And that's then very few, I, I, very few I talked about that earlier. That's yeah. like about the whole discography versus greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. But it's Ken's thing. new did you listen to Ken, Ken's new EP is actually really good. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Did you, did you see he commented on my um on I did. I, I, on I, 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 I heart liked it because I was like, oh my god, Ken cares. Ken Ken commented on it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I, I really liked it. And I watched the video. And it's cool that he's like, yeah, I like thought of the song and the video at the same time. So I knew like I had to do it. I didn't know if it was him in the in the suit. I don't know if it's him in the suit. No, or it's not. It's, yeah. not. It's, that, it's that Dan Malkian guy. Oh. Who was in one of their other videos who yeah. was also like, he's also in other stuff. Yeah. 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 Sort of a weird, weird. I mean, I feel like I could be friends with, with Ken but like, I don't really have any reason to be. Like, you would you be friends with Ken, but you'd party with Kelly, right? That's right. true. Yeah, and then Greg shows up on occasion, but not often. 
I like how all of our Transformers chats turn into failure chats at some point. Failure in music. That's how it is. Yeah. That, that's how we do. We, we, we balance we it. Man, I am I'm pretty yeah. drunk right now. Are you feeling it? Yeah. I got proof of You got them pizzas. I got proof of Bull Winkle's taking it off, everybody. Bye, Bull Winkle. 80? 80. I thought it said fighty for a second. I'm like, what? So the busy cups. So M3, we we decided as a a family unit. Family unit. Our next episode, we are going to be high for. Instead of drunk for. Instead of drunk for. Or cross for. We'll see how we'll see how we'll, they we'll see. We'll see. I've never been crossfaded before. Really? No. I've only I got high for the first time like a month ago. That's so weird. I know. I just never did it. I just feel so old. It feels so weird. It's just it's a thing, man. It's just a thing. I know. So, so we're gonna our next episode, we're gonna record in a couple weeks. Um, it's gonna be out probably around Thanksgiving time. We're gonna it's a spoiler in case anyone doesn't want to watch it, just shut it off. I have all of the components of the studio series Devastator. I've never touched any of them. I've only transformed all of them from robot mode into their alt modes. I've never put them into their like devastator components. <laughs> if, anything, if anything, the episodes would be five minutes long and very productive. So, I mean, laser pants. The, well, I, wait, I take that back. They'll either five minutes long and very productive, or we'll hire a manager, be $30,000 in debt over budget on the episode we have not even made. So there's two ways to go on this Bots and Lines of Coke episode. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're going to um we're gonna we're gonna be high for our next actual episode in person. But not high high, we're just high. We're just gonna be high. Yeah, but not high high. Uh and and we're going we're going to do studio series devastator. Maybe. We'll see. Probably. I'm trying to I'm trying to leave some mystery uh, in this group. Tony, Tony, like you've given us enough money, bro. Like we're we're done. Thank you so much for getting us this drunk. This episode, I would say, if any, this episode has been sponsored by Tony and and Classic Gaming Brothers. He 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 made me pull out Mozilla's. So. Yeah. So Tony, Tony has donated the bulk of the money to get us this drunk, and Classic Gaming Brothers was the rest. So well, let's, let's face facts. This Zilla is the best Zilla ever. He's nourishing. Yeah. He's nourishing himself on trains. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is is his train? Is it in his mouth? It's a train. It's a train in his mouth. He's holding a train and eating a train. Is, is that like the natural food? For um, Godzilla's, for Godzilla? yeah, uh, for this era of Godzilla, for sure. I think nourishing himself on trains is the way to go. M three review says, uh, my, my, the episode, the name of the episode with Michael Bay is high. I think we we decided on, um, what did we decide on? Devastatable. Oh. I, I, it was just it was just a joke. Devastatable. And edibles? I don't know. We were just fucking around. We'll think of a proper title. We'll get there. Well, we always come up with something. It's not always good, but we always come up with something. How nutritious is a train to a Godzilla? I don't know. I mean, do they eat? I mean, they obviously there's going to be people in it. If they, consume the people, if they consume the people in the train, I imagine there's got to be some decent protein in there. Right. The protein intake has to be on point at that point. But there's right? so much other stuff in there. I can't imagine it being very good. But maybe they can just filter it out. I mean, they do fire like nuclear blasts with their breath, right? Are all Godzillas the same Godzilla or are there different types of Godzillas? Well, I know officially 
the American Godzilla got renamed as Zilla. So he's canon, but he's not Godzilla. Yeah, he's he's not the Zilla. He's just a Zilla. He's a Zilla. Right? He's yeah. a Zilla. Yeah. 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 But that's that's literally the extent of my Godzilla knowledge. Like, I want to care more about Godzilla than I do, but other than owning a few pieces that I've gotten circumstantially, that's as far as I go. I actually regret not buying a NECA Godzilla. I regret not buying a couple figure arts Godzillas when they were cheap. Yeah. Now they're kind of expensive. Like the Kiryu, like this, this, this mech Godzilla that Tony gave me, the figure arts one is yeah. fucking insane expensive. Even Tony spent money on his. I remember him talking about that. I think that's what prompted me to get that toy was I was commenting on him getting the other one, and he sent me that one as like a consolation prize to rub it in that Mr. Moneybags Tony has forked it out for a uh, big Godzilla. Was, so, so the other day, because we, we had a couple ideas of what to do tonight, and we were like throwing out figures, and one of them was Punch Counterpunch. Yeah, he was. He was I, I'm like, I thought we did that already, and mm -hmm. I went back because I used to have a list of all of the bots we did for every episode, so we don't re redo them again. And I stopped around two years ago. Yeah, like around 38, I stopped. I stopped counting the episodes, and so I had to go back and like rewatch every episode. And last year's Christmas episode. Do we before that was the one where Tony gave you that because I was I was watching I was like you know listing the bots and I'm like well, what's the last round and it was the unboxing we did from Tony with all the comics and that in it and a bunch of bunch of stuff. That's right. Did we ever repeat a figure? No, we have never repeated a figure. I'm proud of us. Although I'll, I'll say for me, like any of the figures in that we've done in the live streams, I feel like is up for, for redo. In an like, so, I would agree. I, I, I'd be, I'd be okay because there, there's a few prime bots in the first couple episodes. We kind of glossed over for sure. We could definitely bring back. Lily, well, well, she wants us to repeat brainstorm. That's her first figure and that was i think we did, i did that in like the first episode i've i've, all, I've joked with tirsa about redoing the first episode is like a remaster. yeah i don't think we can i don't think we have the same figures anymore now i have all of them i think i even still have the fans project code that broke so i don't i, I could even show that he broke immediately after that episode that so. was funny our first episode you broke something right after the episode i don't think i don't remember what i did that episode let me hold on, let me look it up yeah, I have it written down. I just, I just made sure I had all this. Bots and shots, episode one. I did Warbatron Turbo Ejector. Do not have that figure anymore. The Warbatron who? Turbo Ejector. That's the <laughs> afterburner. You didn't have it in the first episode. I did that in the first episode. Jesus. I don't, I don't have it anymore. I sold it. Uh, Transformers Prime Bulkhead. I do have, but I'm worried about the arm breaking. <laughs> Jug Sandstorm. I still have that. Generations Brainstorm. I still have that Jaxus. I don't think I have Jaxus anymore. I still have Jaxus, I think. You did Fans Project Code, the Chug Cyclonus, uh Sharky. All right. Uh Make Toys Ripper mm -hmm. and Dreadwind, apparently. Wait, that's not right. That can't be right. Dreadwing? I still have her. Oh yeah, your code is yeah code. You did your code. Code's the the one that broke. That's right. So yeah, that's what you did. That was our first episode. How far we've come. Yeah, um, Lily says to do an episode where Tirsa and she picked the box bots for us to do. I would say the opposite. I I want to do an episode where there's a round where they both have the transformer transformer while yes. we watch them do it. Yes. But we, but we don't get to say anything about it. That's going to be the hardest episode. Like we literally just sit behind them like... That's going to be like the hardest episode to do. Because like the only one I know Lily can transform is Brainstorm. I know. And the first time, the first or second, like even the first couple times she transformed Brainstorm, 
Like she, th- I don't think she could transform it right now. Honestly, she couldn't transform it right now. I and the worst part is, I feel like I would have to give her a Rekgar to do because Rekgar is her guy. But Rekgar is kind of a weird transformer to do, I mean, unless you do the Power of the Primes one. It's weird. Tears have walked in, uh-huh. walked in the room right when we were talking about her. What are the odds? Yeah, it's like she knew. We were summoning her with an evil purpose. Well, okay, so what would we need to summon Tirsa? What are, the, what are the objects we would need? We have our summoning circle. We probably just have to say, hey, Tirsa, come over here. And she probably <laughs> But I mean, that easy. Yeah, she likes magic and stuff too, so that helps. I feel like you have to have something to like conjure the person. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I do. I've, I've got. She's got so many tomes around here. Like, like we we have like different magical things around the place. She she's up in it. Afterlife is Lily. It's it's a illiterate life, first of all. Yeah, but and, yeah, that's and, it's, Lily. and it's Lily with two L's, not three L's. Correct. Um, no, I have not gotten, I've never bought any known of kits in my entire life. I don't have any against them. I just have never bought any. (laughs) (laughs) I'm proud of her today. I'm okay. I'm, I'm proud of her. And even if she, if she breaks it, I'm okay with it. No, I'm proud of her tenacity. Yeah. That's actually one of the reasons why I made her. I married her. Not me. I did not make Lily. I married her, was because of her tenacity. And be, and because she bought you a brainstorm. Well, no, I bought my own myself brainstorm. She just decided she liked it. Tirsa bought me my brainstorm. That's nice of her. Uh, Tony wants to know if your girlfriend is pagan or Wiccan. I don't know what she qualifies as. She's kind of. Are you pagan or Wiccan? Neither. I don't like religion. Neither. She doesn't like religion. She doesn't. Don't put a label on. Don't yeah. fucking put a label on Tirsa. Yeah, she's spiritual. She has she has her witch stuff. She does her witch stuff. We have ghost wards around the apartment. We got. We. She has her thing. She has her peace, but no religion. If you if you were like, I'm gonna put a label on Tirsa. Just stop right there. Yeah. Just stop. Done. I mean, it's already out. The like I said, she's not the goth in the relationship. No, we, you are. <laughs> we don't know which um which one of us is Gomez or Morticia. I guess is, oh. is our relationship. We Ooh. don't know which one no, of us is. Which. I disagree. Tirsa is one hundred percent Morticia. She's way more Gomez than I am Morticia. Okay, no, I, I take that back. You're right. You are Morticia. Yeah. yeah. Tirsa is Gomez. I take that yeah. back. She's the charming one. She is. She's way more charming. She's way more doting. I'm just the dark bitch who sits in the corner saying weird, vaguely sexual things. Like that's I all I do. That. You're 100 percent correct. That's that. all I do. Vaguely sexual comments are all I make about everything. That's that, that, that's what that, that I feel like that's what this show thrives on, are my weird, vaguely sexual themed comments, usually at you. And and me reacting to them, sometimes positively, sometimes negatively. I know but, sometimes Lily's listening, sometimes she's not. It depends so on pretend, so pretend is negative. Yeah. For sure. You got it. Yeah. So I feel like wow, we're we're doing a really we're almost at a three hour mark. Are we? Yeah. Wow. You're crazy. It's uh two hours and fifty three minutes. I feel like we have to at least stretch it to midnight. No, I, I, I agree. I feel like we're gonna go for a little bit longer. Yes. Um to, to hit that that Halloween Witching hour, but which hour? Like two or three a.m. So three a.m. It's three a.m. Yeah. But also, I want to throw some salt on the wounds. I don't know if people actually have the set. Oh, I see Neil Witchers in the in the crowd. Oh, now. I, I, oh yeah, I I, I I I clicked on his comment. I wanted to see that, but then we got distracted. Yeah. Um, I your, your, if I weren't your boyfriend, Neil Witcher would be your boyfriend. I know that. Oh, one hundred percent. Like him and I have the sexual rapport. Also, it's like I feel like. Him and I could go to concerts together and collect Transformers together 
And I feel like our girlfriends would get left out at some point. And it's this weird thing and we just shouldn't cross it. And I feel like I have no idea how hot his accent sounds, but I feel like it's probably. I mean, gonna be so here's the thing. I feel like I'm jealous because I could, I mean, I would go to those concerts. But you wouldn't enjoy it the same way. I feel like I would. I just feel like when I mentioned to Neil that Cubanate was playing near his hometown, his first comment was, fucking fly out here right now. We can go together. And okay, I, fine. Thought, I, about it. I that. thought about it. I would have been like, who is that? Is. But I, was still, I would have still fucking gone. I know you would have. I know you would have, but it wouldn't have been the same. Uh, it would have been the same. All right. But I will say yeah, this. Zero percent. But Real quick. J j just so we throw this in the flames now. Why we have these pits of judgment sets. Yeah. For all the haters out there. We don't know why. For some reason, we signed up for the Hasbro Pulse account when it started, and we are still premium members. Uh -huh. Any payment to do with extending it. That's true. So I, I, I had, so when they were going to do this sale, I had a, at least three people ask me uh, if they should get a premium account, if it was worth it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. I just want to point this out. Lily, Lily, Lily has transformed Brainstorm from robot mode into his alternate mode with with the headmaster in the in cockpit the here. So I stand corrected. I eat crow. Lily is the pants wearer and the breadwinner of this relationship. I've never, I've never said. I'm not, I'm not saying that's not right. I'm just. I've that, I have it. never said otherwise. I have yeah, always I've said that he is the breadwinner of your I'm, relationship. I'm just stating facts. Both of y'all no. are condescending. No, we're not. I'm oh, just stating facts. Do the thing. Ugh. I didn't think you could. Honestly, well, this. Hold on. No, there are definitely times <laughs> I didn't know if I could do Transformers because I hadn't done them in a long time. I didn't remember how they went. I'm very impressed. And if you want, if you want to take it back and put it on the shelf, <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Not condescending. I'm impressed. I love you. I, don't feel good. I know you don't. I'm not even feeling good. You're the best. And I didn't even take me that long. And I didn't cheat. <laughs> also, I noticed uh, Maniac Collector's comment, Zach equals Daria. I don't know which one of us is Daria or Jane, if we were them in, in our friendship. Which one of us is Daria or Jane? This is a rough cut. Like, who do you feel like? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a rough comment. Do you feel like more of a Jane or a Daria? I feel like I, I kind of bounce back and forth. Um, I would be I would be Daria, but but from from the cake song. But like, are you my Jane or are you my Daria? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Back to the original subject. We are still somehow Hasbro Pulse members. Yeah, yeah when they started Hasbro Pulse, they were like, if you bought something this weekend, we'll give you Hasbro Pulse for free. For like, it was like until the end of the year, not for the whole year, but until the end of the year. So it's like, you, I was like, well, that's a no brainer. I'll, yeah. I'll buy something. It's like year three now, right? And we're still, we're still. No, it, it, no, that was February of 2019. Okay, so it's like year two. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so, year two. So then they extended it from, from February because February was Toy Fair when they started it to the end of the year. Then they, then they said, oh no, we're going to extend it for a year. And so you got it from February of 2019 to February of 2020. Okay, so here's my theories. Either, uh, what's his face, John, whatever. Who works for Hasbro? John Ward. Ward. Yeah, either, either he loves us from when we hung out with him at the Unicron party, and that's yeah. why we're extended, or because we bought Unicron, that's why we're extended secretly. Maybe. I don't, all okay. I know is they just, they just keep pushing it out. They just keep okay. pushing it out. That's my theory as to why we're still in the party. Yeah. We did hang out with John Ward, and that guy's awesome. He, he was involved in a lot of um, – Transformers stuff up until yeah. Kingdom, I know. And now he actually just left Transformers 
and went to uh he's in he's he's on the Power Rangers team now. Hmm. He was a really nice guy at that. He hangout. was a very nice guy. Yeah, I do there remember when so many, there were so many people that night that I was like, they don't want to talk to us. No, like they I, don't, they don't, that person doesn't want to talk to us, but they did. I just felt weird because I usually go to that venue for concerts, but then I was there for nerd stuff, yeah, but also a concert, and it was a weird night. But like a good kind of weird. Oh, it was a good kind of weird. No, yeah, yeah. I definitely touched things. I liked it. Yeah. I liked a lot of things. It was a very surreal night. We have less than a minute until Halloween. Well, how do you feel about that? Do I you feel, do you, well, because because you, you're you're not a super Halloween guy, are you? I'm, I am filled with the spirit of Halloween today. I know your your reference on, your preference on Facebook. I get it. I yeah. said I said that before. You right. You did it in the in the show. That's my joke. I'm very happy about that joke. You just keep rehashing it. But it's because I'm. It's whenever whenever I accidentally get a good joke, I want to. I got to keep telling it. So he got the shaft, huh? Uh, yeah. So I I don't know. I don't know why I clicked on that, but that's true. Tony's hang. Tony's fading out. Tony, thank you for all the shots, dude. You're the best. Yeah. We love you. Tony, you are the best. Thank you for this gentleman. He still sits proudly on my shelf forever and always. So just so you know, he's there. M3, dude, we're in Southern Cali. We're in San Diego. So again, like when whenever the shit clears up or whatever, and people well, we start going we to have to Frankensons. Yeah, when we go to Frankensons again, we'll have to go together. It'll be a lot of fun. You'll be on you'll be on a bots and shots. I heard the lines are crazy unless you go on like one of the weekday ones for Frank. Do they Sunday. do it on more than just Wednesday now? They do. I do. They do Wednesday, Saturday, Sundays. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to go back to that weird fucking Korean restaurant which where we had that weird pizza. We had, we had the the best Korean pizza I've ever had. We got sweet potato pizza and then like the sweet and sour wings. And yeah, it was really good. Asahi fucking beer. It was so yeah. good. It was. It was a good time. Good night. If uh, anyone's watching this and is curious about um, what we're talking about, back in I think February, I think it was February. It's February, yeah. We we went to oh, Franken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we drove up to Franken. Um, we did a little toy hunt because we didn't really have anything planned for bots and shots. We wanted to do a little special, so we uh, we drove up and we had we had lunch at like a weird Korean pizza place called what was it called like. Uh, pizza and wing or something like that. It was like a weird yeah. game. Yeah, it was, it was very like it was very like just like pizza and wing. Yeah, the pizza plus sign wing. Pizza plus wing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it was called, but it was something like that. But anyways, it was pretty fun. We had a good time. But it is officially Halloween now. It's yeah. twelve oh two a.m. Yeah. That would be 3.02 a.m. for the people watching this on the West Coast right now. Yeah, and who knows what the fuck time it is anywhere else in the world. I mean, you could probably just look it up on the internet. If you come to the U.S., which you probably won't be able to because this place is fucking bonkers. But I wouldn't come to the, I wouldn't come to the U.S. unless I had yeah. to. Yeah. But I would definitely go to a concert with him any day of the week. Um, Bumblebee. All the, all the thing is, Ministry and KMFDM reschedule their tours for the springtime. So, I don't, I don't know about Zach, but I'm drunk as fuck. I'm pretty drunk. I just the thing is, is I always look vaguely high. So oh, yeah. it takes me a while during Boston shots until anyone figures out I'm drunk. I actually, I had to. I, I don't really like to delete comments and ban people. But I had to ban someone from commenting on my on my channel because he would always comment that I, that I was high and like I didn't take offense to that, but like I wasn't. Yeah. And like it so, wasn't like so, oh he looks high. He would just he would say a bunch of negative shit. Like he was a, he was a huge negative Nancy, and I was just like I'm just fucking tired of this guy commenting on my channel. I don't want him to ever comment again. So I, I banned him from my channel. I don't do that a lot, but. I have done it before. Sometimes you gotta regulate, man. I do. You do. 
It is 5.30 p.m. on Saturday in Australia. How crazy is that right now? It's time travel, man. That's like fucking tomorrow. That's straight up tomorrow. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing at 5.30 p.m. tomorrow night. Well, like, when I went to Japan, we traveled yeah. back in time, and then we came back forward in time when we came home. So it was definitely a weird experience doing the Japan trip. Yeah, it's weird. But it was pretty fun. Not but knowing what I, would never, I would never fucking ban you in my entire life. I would never, like, ever ban you. Wait, wait, he claimed to be banned? I think it was a joke. I guess I was just gonna I was just reassuring him that nothing I would ever do would ban would be banning him. Chicken fried steaks and happy Halloween. Are you guys done? Tirsa walked in the room because I think she realized how drunk you sound when you talk. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty drunk. Yeah, you sound drunk. You sound way drunker than I do, but I am pretty drunk right now. I'm I'm pretty drunk. I'm actually, I feel like no, seriously though. I feel like I'm talking a little drunker than I actually am, but I am drunk. I think I think it just hits you a little bit. You're, you're, I'm, you're, leaning little, I'm leaning into it a little bit. You are the elder statesman of Boston shots, though. Oh, so oh, well then, oh, the drunkitude of myself is a hundred percent. I like the, I like the holding your collar. You have, like, to, hold, oh, yeah, you have to hold yourself up uh, on whatever is on your chest. Yes. If you're an elder statesman at the time. Yes. 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 <laughs> Is, is is that why Bane was doing it in Batman? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a, it it make, it gives you a little bit of that like gravitas. Yeah, yeah. Is it more a more esteem to to your uh, flaunts of, of yeah. taking on Gotham? Oh, oh, I want to blow up that shield. Yeah, one hundred percent. Proud of you. Thank you. Proud. Um, have have you seen? I'm I'm guessing the answer is no. Yeah. But, Oh, I just got a text on my phone saying uh, my schedule at work has been updated. That's weird to do at midnight on a Saturday. Yeah. Anyway, um, no. So Lily says that wasn't my best bane. Um, it wasn't her. Best. It wasn't. So her there's. Uh, we have HBO Max, mm -hmm. and on it they have. Oh, did you a, watch Crap on? TV show, which is a cartoon in the vein of Batman the Animated Series. Hmm. And in it is Bane. He's like a regular character, but he's like the Bane from The Dark Knight Rises where, where he talks like this. You know, like, like where it's kind of yeah. like yeah. But like <laughs> he's like woke a bit where he's talking, he wants like people to figure out their like self-actualizations and things like that. Like he has sharing circles and like it's really fucking stupid, but it's really fucking funny. That's nice. Yeah. Did you watch the Lovecraft Chronicles? Hell, well, we we are on the last episode. It's so good. Yeah. We the the previous episode, the time travel one, was fantastic. Oh, they went to Tulsa or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you? Uh, the, so we we're just, we haven't watched stranger? the final episode still. Are you the mysterious stranger, Michael? I am the. I'll, I got you, kid. That's all I wanted to know. I, I got you, kid. I know we we, we had we had a, like a weird Cox cable plan for a while, yeah. and it just ended. So we finally got rid of cable stuff. So we had HBO for like ever, but now we don't have it. So now oh, we want to, want to get HBO Max again so we can. Uh, yeah, watch stuff. I feel like HBO for so HBO Max is too expensive. It's fifteen bucks a month. We're also we're we're not getting paid to hawk this. Whichever people are no, watching, I, fuck no, fuck yeah. no. But I will say, like it's got a bunch of shit I like on it. So I I have a hard time. Like we pay for it. Like we pay the it's it's we pay fifteen bucks a month for it. But I fucking I like it. Are we, we have uh, Disney Plus because they had a deal where it's like, hey, pay for two years of it and you get a third year for free. So I paid like the 140 bucks, but I get like three years of it, which ended up being like th like three bucks a month or something when I mapped it out. But then I also split that with a family member. Mm. So I gave them a login. So I, I feel like yeah. you know I got a good deal on that. Are the Adventure Time movies up on HBO Max? It, yes, the first one is. I don't know if the second one is. I haven't watched it though. 
But I watched uh, JG Quintel, the guy that did the uh, regular yeah. show. He did a show on, on, on HBO Max, and it's pretty good. I watched the whole thing. Do you think we're the Finn and Jake of shot-based Transformer shows? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I do. I definitely would be the Jake. You definitely would be the Finn. I'm the blonde kid. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. It's my whole life. Yeah. Except now I'm old, which is weird. Yeah. That's true. I had a young coworker uh, yesterday tell me to check out Kenny Loggins. I don't know what to do with my life for a minute there. Uh, I did, like, 20 years ago? Well, I never did. Really about that is just, just like a, a week or two ago, I had a Kenny Loggins song stuck in my head. It was a, I was, it was a Loggins and Messina song. Oh. Um, yeah, because uh, growing up, one of my favorite albums was a Loggins and Messina album. And so I had uh, a song called Bahiva Law stuck in my head. Mm. And then I put it on when I was taking a shower, and then I kept going. And it got to like the 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 Pooh Corner song or whatever. Yeah. And, and so like Lily Lily got into it and she tried to show her mom, and her mom was like, "This is Kenny Loggins. I don't like this." So that was a fun story. It's just, it was just weird having people younger than you tell you about something that's older than you. Right. That is that's that's weird what? for sure. Like okay. She also tried to tell me about how she liked Dave Matthews, and I was just ooh, ooh, crash right into me. <laughs> it, was, it was a weird time. It was a weird time. She's a sweet girl. I love her to death. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a weird. What a deep weird, cut. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A, it, she's, she's a weird soul. She's a weird soul. It's gonna be weird though. Like you realize, like you know how you were growing up, like. You know, like having like referential music to your parents, you know, like especially in the yeah. time, of, like I always have the cars, like the cars is one of my referential bands. Sure. There's bands that yeah. you knew casually. I, I in. Just what I needed. Yeah. I, I like your reference, but I'm yeah. saying there's bands that you remember from the nineties that are like referential differently, but younger kids will be like, that was their cars. Like, you know, like, that's, like that's their, no, no, it's worse than that. That's their oldies. Yeah, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, Sugar Ray. Yeah. I knew about Sugar Ray because my mom listened to Sugar Ray. And you're just no, like, no, that's that's so fucking true. Like when I grew up, my I listened to my dad's music, which was like seventies, like sixties and seventies music. Right. But like kids, kids now that grew up in the thousands, that eighties, nineties music is their sixties and seventies music. Dave, Dave Matthews is like a figure, like. How I remember Phil Collins from my like, or like, yeah, like CCR or like, yeah, yeah. Like I remember my mom loved Phil Collins and Genesis. Now there's going to be some people that love like fucking uh, Dave Matthews and that's fucking oldie bare naked ladies. Yeah. Fucking third eye blind. Like they're that's, that's their love. oldies. That's their oldies. It's weird. That's, I hate that. I hate you for saying that. It's weird, right? I just ruined everything. I you ruined did. literally like the night was flying high and I just shot it straight down. Straight down. It's okay. I had that moment like not too long ago. Linda wants us to kiss. Or she's talking about the band kiss. I can't tell either. Either way, I, here's me. here's the thing. I I don't like I hate I won't say I hate kiss. But I'm I not gonna lie. Like, I'm I not gonna like. lie. The only Kiss song I love is uh, "I Was Made for Loving You," their stupid disco song. I like the one that they made for Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Oh, the the cover song they did. I the... gave rock and roll yeah. to you. Give yeah. rock and roll to you. Put it in your soul for everyone. Did you ever see the third one? Not yet. Oh, it's. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it a lot. Like a lot, a lot? Yeah. I, I thought it was a really good ending to the Bill and Ted trilogy. Do you feel like you could save the world now because of it? 100%. I know how. Hashtag YOLO. Or you, you only live an infinite amount of times. But yeah, what I don't like about – what I don't like about mm -hmm. Kiss 
is they look like they should sound like Marilyn Manson sounds. Yeah. But I agree. They, like they've got they've got the the demons and the face makeup and the the spikes and shit. But then they're like, I want to rock and roll yeah. all night. Well, even for me, and like every day, like it's like fucking Donnie Osmond up in the shit. So when I, when I was growing up in the '90s, I had a friend who became like the super Marilyn Manson guy, like had all the posters and stuff, yeah. and like super cool. And then he had a friend named Corey who we were hanging out with one time and he goes, Oh yeah. And he shows me skinny puppy, which is like what Marilyn Manson actually looks like sounds versus <laughs> what he actually like sounds like. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So nothing is what it seems. Nothing. Nothing is what it seems. Okay. It was like, uh, uh, at the end of high school, like my, my friend showed me the band him. Yeah. And then, and then I heard typo negative right after that. I'm like, right. Oh, okay. So that's what that band was trying that's, to do. That's what that band should sound like. Yes. Band, yeah. So the, the only thing song on. I like is they did a cover of Wicked Game, and I I like that cover. Yeah. But that's you, it. You should look up typo negatives covers. They are ridiculous. No, I've got some typo negative covers. I like typo negative. negative. Typo negative does not only Black Sabbath covers, yeah. but they also do Hedwig and the Angry Inch is Angry Inch, and it is. Yeah. Fucking fantastic! I, I saw I saw that show live in LA. What typo negative? No, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh, nice! I saw, was, I, saw, I saw typo negative in LA. Nice. Like we're we're basically the same person. Yeah, they did perform that song, so we were definitely in we're, the same. Yeah, we're conjoined at the. At we're, the we're we're in yeah. the we're in the clit. I get it. Yeah, clip clip. that's you and I. Bots the shot. Put the clit. Yeah, it was with uh, Darren Chris from Glee. From all right, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Lily really cared. I I thought it was fun. It was a good. It was a good show, but I did not care. I wasn't like Darren. Who? I don't know. I mean, it's also weird source material. If we're being yeah. honest, Henry and the Angry Inch is a pretty decently weird. Uh... It was. It was weird, but I was there for it. I dug it. I liked the music. That was. It was way rad. Yeah. But that's a negative cover, top shelf. Yeah. I like I like the music stream that's going on in the comments right now. With what? Faith No More cover? So oh. my weirdly enough, my favorite cover of War Pigs is actually Cakes. Fair enough. I, I don't know. It's just I thought it was really good as a good cover of Cake uh, of, of War Pigs, I mean. Well, I mean, War Pigs is a good song. I feel like whoever covers it. Pig it's a song that should be sung in all the genres, right? What well, a rainbow of genres covering well, war pigs. One of the members of Cam FDM went on to form a band called Pig in the late '80s, and they were kind of ran and they, they they did a cover of of War Pigs, which I feel like is appropriate because their name is Pig. So you feel like you had to do that because you're, you're, you're it's already in the name, so you have to do that cover, I guess. But it was it was a good cover. It was a good cover. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of which, Deadsy's second album is going to be pressed on vinyl for the first what? time ever. There's a wait. There's a second album. I only have the first. There, there's another. There's a second album that came out in 2006, but they're finally going to release it on vinyl. Oh, um, I feel like that's going back in time. I feel. I feel like that would well, be. Like, I feel like that would be someone saying like, "Here's a cool new PS5 game," and now we're going to release it on. The well, new because- it was released on CD, and now it's being released on streaming because, like, they, they just got the rights back to it. Is that like, what happened? Okay. Yeah, they, they, well, they I can't like, wait to download it on my favorite streaming service. Well, because their second album you couldn't find on streaming because the whatever the label was at the time wouldn't let them have the rights back. They got it back, so it's going to yeah. be really – Well, I really like their first album. Yeah, so their second album is also fun. It's a little bit gothier, but it's yeah. fun. And For the those third album, who don't know, Dead Z uh, is the – is the band for the for the front runner um Elijah Elijah Blue, Blue. yeah Blue. he's he's the daughter of Cher basically he's, he's the daughter of Cher. He's, he's the son of Cher there we go Cher and Greg Allman yeah and and Gregory Allman from the Allman brothers yeah and I I fucking love that first time. I never heard of it until you told me that it was actually the Boston shots yeah and it was like well, it was, see these are the conversations we have at like one or two in the morning Right, we're fucking drunk, and we're trying to sober up. 
I want to say they on the second album they do a cover of Paint It Black. Oh, do they? Because that's that's a fantastic song. It's really fun. The rest yeah. of the album is fucking great. And like I said, I've always I want either album on vinyl. None of them, but and there's supposed to be supposed to be a new album coming out, but I don't know when it's ever actually coming out. But if it's ever coming out, because they're fucking weird. For sure. For sure. That, For sure. That, 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 that was my reference. So my reference of old age the other day was my buddy reminded me that uh, my favorite Orgy album came out on 10-10-2000, uh, which means it came out 20 years ago. And I was just like, well, I'm old now. Yep. We're old. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Well, it's officially Halloween. It's 12 20 in the morning you're a halloween we've queen. been going for three almost three and a half hours at this point i like these long conversations in the me, dark me too me too but I, I do feel like it's probably time to start going i feel like there's so much more going on in the chat stream than we realize because we're yeah. over here rambling like assholes for a while that's what we do so I guess big shout out to Lily fucking moderating the garbage that fucking streams through here incessantly. Dude, I'm sure. First of all, do not do not call our commenters garbage. No, no, I'm saying they say, the commenters are great, but everyone says garbage. Half of our show is garbage. That's true. If you consider down, if you, this show's been going for three and a half hours almost now, and you condense this down to an hour. On the reg, which means that there's almost like two hours of this that is garbage that you cut. Yeah, and, and 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 this is our usual stream, if not longer, that we do. So everyone else out there is great, and I'm sure there is whatever. Uh, and I definitely see there's some angst going on in that crowd off and on, uh, and that is a whole different world from what we're doing. So that's what I'm saying. A shout out to Lily for moderating whatever is For going sure. on in there. I see a bunch of cucumbers coming at us, and it is great. I love it. A lot of big, sweaty... If there's not spurts coming out those cucumbers, do they matter? No. I feel like you have to have the no, cucumbers. They, do. they matter. They matter. I feel like you have to have the spurt emoji with the cucumber emoji for me to really get well, excited about I feel like that helps, but it's not It's not 100... It's, first of all, I think it's eggplants. Eggplants. Whatever. Hashtag. Everyone inserts a different vegetable inside of themselves at some point. You, you well, do you I, who's, who's to say eggplants are cucumbers? I feel like I feel like are you a scientist? Are you a scientist? Are you a vegetable scientist? A vegetableologist? I feel like if we're being honest, eggplants do not possess the level of sturdiness that I want inside of me at a given time. Cucumbers are sturdier, hardier, and about the same size. I'm gonna go for that. I know we I know we have an eggplant emoji, but I think it's time for a cucumber emoji. Am I right, or is that too phallic for the world? Yeah, I don't. I don't Am I too know. brave? Am I too brave for this world? I feel like I'm too brave. I don't know if you're brave enough. I could be braver, but I don't think your show would allow for me. That that's kind of true. Control. That's not actually true. You'd get us kicked yeah. off. <laughs> You'd get us kicked off the off the internet. Bye, maniac collector. Yeah, Maniac Collector, thanks thanks for giving us our uh our brand our brand new um slogan, which I can't oh, yeah. remember right now. Yeah. Well it, it was zero percent discretion, hundred percent digression. Yeah, that's it. Because I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That's I'm gonna I gotta I gotta write that down before I forget it. Zero percent Discretion, one hundred percent digression. That's 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 our motto now for bots and shots. Because I wonder how if you broke this down, how much of the show is us actually doing the transformer bullshit versus us ranting about stupid stuff? Who even fucking knows? Yeah, we drink a lot. Thanks yeah. to fucking Tony. Tony Kim, I, I thought for sure raising the bar that high would keep people away from donating. Yeah, I feel like you owe me a transformer now for how much he paid for us. That yeah, so a hundred percent, I do. Yeah, I, no, I do. 
Just, just if whatever Sunstreaker trail. Yeah, break, whatever, whatever. If I see one, the third, you, a third wave one. If you find, I wasn't gonna buy a trail breaker, but if you find a spare trail breaker, hook me up. Okay. Yeah. Well, trail break, trail breaker or Sunstreaker. Oh, trail breaker, because I wasn't gonna buy a trail breaker, but okay. I will take one for free. All right. All right. On, on, on Tony's behalf, I will take. I'll keep one. that in mind. You'll, I'll, yeah. I'll get you on my list here. But so seriously, uh, thank you for hanging out with us. We are Mike and Zach. We are drunk as fuck. At least I am. I'm pretty drunk. I'm not. I'm. I'm at the rambly stage, so I'm pretty drunk. Yeah. At this point. I'm ready I'm, to educate. I'm ready to educate people on some music knowledge right now. That's how drunk I, I am. I think we're okay. We can leave that for the the next um, video. I guess I don't know. I thought I had a thing, but I, I do wanna I do wanna thank all of the um Patreon supporters that support us on Patreon. Oh that's right, we have those. We have those. Um I I'm gonna I'm I was gonna list them off, but I can't remember. I like I, I don't have a list anywhere. I was gonna list them off, but I can't find my list. It's not there anymore. <laughs> thank you for preparing for the show. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a professional. I'm a consummate professional. Uh, uh, you're the worst person in the world. I, what I could do is I could just log into Patreon.com and <laughs> read the names because that's where I get it from. But I do want to thank all the people that support us on Patreon. Uh, here we go. Hold on. It opened up. Patreon levels. Bots and shots. There it goes. Okay, Aaron Geis, Adam Lapping, Alexander Nielsen, CJ Smith, DJ Ronan, Ernest Murray Jackson, James Lore, Manuel J. Suero, Matthew Sibley, Robert Valenzuela. Yes, that Robert, by the way. That that Robert. That Robert. Robert. Ryan Abreu, the Ryan Abreu. Fuck him. Skirt and the engine. Wait, skirt. I feel like skirt and the engine feels like a band name. Like it's skirt and the engine. It's not like Florence and the Machine, but like the sequel. Yeah, exactly. It's skirt and the engine. Band. Band. Skirt and the engine. <laughs> Those are our Patreon supporters on the bots and shots level. Those guys pay to get thanked on bots and shots, and I don't want to skimp on them. I, I found a graphic for it, but I I cannot find it. I guess we should give them like exclusive content at some point, but you know, for whatever. sure, yeah, at some point, I don't know, at some point. Anyways, so thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far. Like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. I forgot to say bye. That was my ball. Oh, you, you told oh, me. You can still hear us. We can say bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Bye. No, no, seriously, bye. No, bye. Bye. No, no bye. 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 bye.